Friday and hello to everybody who was just as surprised by December 1st as I was and realized they have a million and twelve things to do before the 25th and have only bought one Christmas present. How do you think Santa feels? <laughs> Busy. He doesn't have time to watch this. He doesn't know. Not at all. Uh, hello everybody. Welcome to Getting Baker Crystal. We're going to be making stuff tonight. We're making caramel apple cheesecake bars because caramel apple is the superior fall winter flavor. I was supposed to make this recipe in like September. Who was at a slide at the pumpkin eaters? Yes. <laughs> Take that Peter Peter. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> um, this has been on my schedule, maybe not on the calendar, but this has been like tentatively planned literally since September and stuff and things. And here we are, December 1st, we're finally making caramel apple cheesecake bars. Uh, hello to Beer and Bug, who is using his member super chat. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Let's try that again. <clears throat> Thank you so much for supporting us for 17 whole months. Appreciate you. He says, yay, let's get, wait. Let's bit get, <laughs> I am entirely too tired for switching words around. <laughs> It might be one of those delirious episodes. It's been a long week. How is a week where I took a day off a longer week than a week where I work five days? Hi, how can right. I help you? Hold on. Is that better? Can Jim? you hear me now? I was talking to Jim. Who's Jim? You've never been to the gym. The sound guy. And do you have a hair... I might. Mooch insisted I snuggled him. As soon as I got home and walked into the kitchen, he jumped up on the counter and climbed up me. And we snuggled and snuggled and snuggled. And he is now asleep partially falling off of his bed here in his usual position. So he's ready to go. He's definitely going to wake up when uh, C-R-E-A-M cheese happens. Don't tell him I said that. 
Uh, what else is going on? Oh, Gaming Ham, who has supported us for 18 months. Thank you so much. Let's go and get baked. Let's do this. Uh, Terry is here. Hello, friend. I think I saw Jess in the chat, too. Um, all my friends are here. Si 69, dude. You 69 of you guys are here. Huh? You just got done seeing I did. I saw her in real life. And when I left her, she said, you don't have to hug me. I'll see you next week. Uh, we will be at Novi next week. We are leaving here Thursday morning. Blake is going to take care of um, all of the cats. He had a test run. Yes. Uh, Monday night and Tuesday, he had a test run. We need to, to clarify a few instructions for him, but it, it was a good test run. He Everybody survived. <laughs> he and the cats all made it. He said he thought it was going to be much more riotous than it was. Well, that's good. So uh, he, he was pleasantly surprised. Uh, Mooch was definitely ready for me to be home. I need to interrupt with some breaking news. Okay. This is important. Everybody listen up because nobody uh -oh. likes to listen. My other monitor over there is flickering, and there's a chance that the computer might go boo in black oh, no. and, and blue screen. We will be back if it does. I will just restart the computer. We'll come back. It'll be black for a little bit. But my screen over there is flickering. That's and not good. That's not good. So the, if the stream locks up, don't worry. We will come. We will come back. You see my other monitor over there, dude. I think my video card's bad, Blake. Uh oh. Um, I'm going to need a mouse. You gotta put mine in. <laughs> uh, Marianne with her member super chat. She's been supporting us for 18 months. Thank you so much. She says hi, Crystal and Dan. Love the new video, Dan. Yes, if you guys have not seen it, uh, I think Dan put something up. Yes. All right. Crystal's a little foggy brain today, so let me talk for just a second here. Yeah, it's fine. You? Let me talk for a second. So we got some packages we're gonna open here when we get the stuff in the oven. We're gonna be making apple caramel cheesecake cheesecake bars. bars. Uh, we do have some announcements. We do have some member videos that just went up that we'll talk about that in a little bit. We just got back from Universal Studios and Disneyland with Jess. We'll talk about that too as well. Two she loved well. to as well, I know. <laughs> but the goal before we get into all the fun stuff is we had to get something in the oven. Yes. So we'll concentrate on because that. Because I but, might fall asleep. But yes, thank you to all the members. And we do have a members video that we'll talk about more of our trip. That just happened like two days ago. It's over 30 minutes long. That's longer than your favorite Friends episode. Pivot. It is. We'll be back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, be, the, the computer over there is like being wonky. Bear with us. You guys are always patient with our technical difficulties, oh, and, and, and we appreciate that. And then we have a, a, a really rad Dantix 2.0 update. Yes. So hang around so you can find out what's happening. There you go. I got you, Crystal. Alma. Thank I you. I got you, girl. Uh, Sam suggested we write it down. Write down step-by-step -step instructions for Blake. Um, I actually did that. But I told him I will I will make like a spreadsheet for him. But yeah, before I left Monday night, I was like, oh, I should probably write this down for him because he's not going to remember. And I highlighted like different colors of what time he was supposed to do things because some stuff had to be done before he left for school. Some stuff had to be done after he got back from school. And it's a lot of work. Um, Dan's home all day long. So Dan takes care of like at least 75% of the cat stuff all day. And even in the night, like he does the litter boxes and takes care of the things. Um, I do a good chunk of it as well. Um, but doing it all by yourself is a lot. And I know that from the times that Blake leaves. So or wait, no, from the times that Dan leaves. So I knew it was going to be a lot for Blake. So I'm glad we had the, the test run, uh, one day, but yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Oh, gaming ham. We'll get to the butter beer. Let's, let's just get to the butter beer. Okay. If you guys were here last week or the week before, you might know, I just discovered butter beer is not beer. It's like root beer, okay? Nobody told me it wasn't butter, right? Like, I just thought, ew, that's going to be really rich and like buttery flavor. The logic did not occur to me who the hell wants to drink a butter flavored drink. It didn't occur to me. So we ended up in Harry Potter land, didn't get the butter beer, ended up back outside at City Walk. We were walking through a candy shop and we I saw it bottled. We were done. We were done we're for the day. We are on our way home. Well, not like in the car on the way home, but like headed that direction. And they sell it bottled as well. And it says, butterscotch flavored cream soda. Hold up. Why didn't you guys tell me this? I know a lot of you are Potterheads. Nobody, sir, sir, can you turn down your volume? We're, we're live here. Uh, nobody thought to mention that. Look, I don't drink a lot of soda or like any soda, but I love, love root beer. Uh, and I love cream soda. Also, I freaking love butterscotch. So as soon as I saw that, my jaw dropped. I picked it up off the ground and told Dan, did you know this is butterscotch cream soda? And he said, we can go back and get one if you want. And I said, yes, we're going to have to. Luckily, we had stamped our hands, uh, went back through security, had all our stuff checked, scanned our tickets again, walked directly to Harry Potter land, bought some butter beer. Holy crap, that's amazing. Um, it was good. We walked up and he said, we only have it cold, um, which first I thought of Punk Rock Girl, if anybody's a Dead Milk Men fan. Uh, and I said, well, what are the other options? Apparently, you can get it warm or like a slushy as well. No, I just want it cold. I just want like a cold soda. Um, I don't know because I didn't pay attention while they were making it. If they, it comes out of like a, like a slushy machine where it's like spinning in there. 
And I don't know if they put something else on top of it or if it's just the foam that's made when they pour it. No, he did. Did Um, he? He poured the liquid and then the other machine, like... Blobbed. Okay, if, the stuff in if there, you've never it, had it, it, it blobbed the thicker stuff. In it's there. like melted butterscotch milkshake they yeah. put on top of it. It's a different temperature. It, it, it feels good, like the, the sensation of a ice cream float, a root beer float. So amazing. A root beer float. So worth walking all the way back in. The uh, the sides of my calves are killing me from all the walking. Um, I do not walk like that in my and, normal life. And, and Universal Studio is on a hill. Absolutely. Um. And luckily there's lots of escalators, but yeah, totally worth walking all the way back in there, all the way back to Harry Potter World and paying the $9 for a fresh butter beer. Absolutely. And you can see Crystal uh, drink this yes, butter beer Yes, Zira, I, I really thought it was a beer drink. Never thought about it. Like, obviously Harry Potter's geared towards kids. Never thought about it. Just thought it was beer. I'm not into Harry Potter. Didn't occur to me at all. Not even a little bit. So... Yeah, uh, get the butter beer, guys. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, Afriel says there are recipes out there for it. We have a soda stream. Is that something we can do? Uh, we just aren't going to be able to re- replicate that blob unless you look to see what the recipe is. I'm hey, on you know it. What? Thank you, Afriel. I didn't we even think about that. We will look into butter beer recipes for the show. We will look into that. We will absolutely look into that. Yes, yes. Okay, I missed some stuff, so let me go back up and figure it out. Okay, I got you, Marianne. Uh, Wilton, I see you saying that you're not getting the option for the member super chat. I don't know why. Um, that's a YouTube issue. But feel free to say whatever you want, and I will read it. You get one free. I will read whatever you say. Sometimes as long as it's not funky. Sometimes it's not there. Sometimes if I make my screen, you know how you can hit Control Plus and make it like more than 100. percent It like goes away. One time I was trying when Jess was live. I was trying to super chat, and it just wasn't there. It just, it just, <laughs> it just, the, it just thing wasn't there at all. Um, lots of people said hi to Blake. Sorry, I, I was. Yeah, uh, maybe you should have some tea. I probably should. I don't know why I'm so. He's raspy coming back in between baking things because he's excited to show off some three D stuff. Nice, nice, good deal. If you didn't hear him, I don't know how loud he was talking. Uh, Blake's gonna come so- show us some new stuff. He has been three D printing on now two three D printers, pretty much twenty four seven. Oh yeah, it's, it smells like a hot glue gun in here. It absolutely does. We're probably all yes. catching cancer. Uh huh. Um, uh, what else? <laughs> Type it on the computer and print it out. Yeah, we're going to have to make a spreadsheet for Blake, and I'll just uh, invite him to my Google Doc. What you doing there? Just putting on glasses so uh, better to see you with. I I read it with my eyes, but not my mouth, that somebody said my hair looks cute today. So th- Oh, there it is. Afriel, your hair looks good today. Curls are nice and beachy. Thanks. <laughs> I feel nice quite, and beachy. I've I never heard that quite before. Wind- That's because you're not a girl and you don't have wavy hair. It's beach waves. Beachy waves. Um, <laughs> Mine's just a waterfall. <laughs> 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 um, it's been quite windy, so I feel. N- 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 Whoa, what were you coming through hot? For? <laughs> I don't know what she thought was happening. Agree. Turned around, and went right back. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel quite wind blown, but thank you. I, I do appreciate the compliment, and had to go back to read it out loud so I could thank you. So thank you, appreciate it. Um, what else? Uh, Nikki with a super chat. Thank you so much. I have pics that I posted that I want Dan to see. Don't mind if they're on stream. Can you remind me again when we get to? I don't want to get too distracted. I, I, I need to get this going. Um, there's a hundred, yeah, yes, there's a hundred things to do. We can yes. do it, but we all got to stay on track. Also, several of you stay were trying to make posts about uh, your Spotify wrapped. Post it as comments, because I don't want Post the, it as comments. I don't want the, the feed overtaken with everybody's different and ones. Post it as comments on the one that I posted. And it doesn't have to be um, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah, whatever it, whatever rap, Whatever use. rap it is. Um, and wait, but hold on. Come with us and judge everybody's music taste. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> yes. I don't want to like rush over your speed you. bump. <laughs> it's a thank you for the super chat. We will we will get to that. We will get to that. We will get to that. And Shannon said something too. What did Shannon say? Yes. Saying? Shannon with her member super chat who has been supporting us for 11 months. Thank you so much. You've been supporting us way longer than that, but you've been a member for 11 months. <laughs> uh, hey guys, back on the 23rd, I posted a pic on RF, RFS fan page of some random Hot Wheels I was gifted and wondering was wondering which one I should Ooh, send yes. you in. Oh, which one I should send in when you get time. Okay, when you yes. go back over there, let's, check it out. Let's do it, and then we'll talk. Yeah, we'll do that. Because we have this, like, big window in between baking stuff that we'll get a bunch of stuff done. So, yeah, yes. there's there's four steps to this, so yes. I need to power through and not be as chatty. Um, yes, Dale, we always go through computer crashes. It's always something. He's on it, like, 24-7. It's, it's about... Uh, oh, man. I think it's my video card or the power... It's got to be the video card. And it gives me... It's giving me editing issues, but a video card's, like... Like six bills, so I'm trying to like. I want it to be something else, but I'm good at computers. It's not. So Blake's got an expensive one. I'm gonna borrow his when I get the time. <laughs> yeah. Put it in there, <laughs> test it out, see what it is, and then make the improvements. But when I have a brand time. new 
still top of the line computer over there. That monitor over there is still blinking. Sam says, please turn off your phone. Yeah, I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> We're way back. I know, but I got it. Um, ter Terry got my dead milkman reference. Thanks, friend. I appreciate you. Um, yes, yes. Everybody who's laughing at me for thinking butterbeer was beer. I just, you, I didn't think about it. You I just took it at face value. Catch up to the bottom of the chat so it starts scrolling again, and then you focus on that. Okay. I got you. I got you. Uh, just pointing out free chats based on the day of the month you signed up. Oh, blah, nice. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, well, with her, with her member super chat that did not come through as a member super chat, I was just going to say see you the ninth at Nova. Oh, good. LOL. You get to go. Yes. Good. Um, I... This whole week has been super busy at work. Every once in a while, I would pop on and see notifications, and occasionally I could comment. I saw yours. I didn't... Something else. Somebody else was calling me and needed something. But yes, mm -hmm. I'm very excited to meet you in person. Dan has met you. My brother met you years ago. I have never met you in person, so I am excited for that. It's going to be so much fun. Um, I'll ask Blake if he saw the SpongeBob thing that you posted uh, in the RFS fan page. Okay, we just slightly grease or wine. Okay, okay. Advance says, I might not be able to make it into why. I probably can't afford lodging now that I can't stay with my friend. Oh, that part sucks. Unless someone has a couch that I can surf on. F, Vance, you definitely don't want to surf on the no why couches. Let me tell you about <laughs> last year. It was Greg, Eric, and I. Uh, was it at Novi? Who knows? You tried uh, one of them. And I slept on the couch thing, and it was not the business.com. It was not uh, Hannah, with her member super chat, thank you so much for. Hey, hey, I already told you no. We're doing a live show. You can't be here on the counter. Well, watch out. Don't smash my canvases, bro. Our house is a disaster. Uh, we did not paint the bedroom. If you guys were here last week, uh, I claimed that I was going to drag Dan into the bedroom and make him paint it. Uh, but, however, we, we did all those empty our entire closet. Oh, Holy yeah. crap. You know how much stuff is in your closet? No, you don't until you take it all out. You don't think there's <laughs> that much. Ends. And then you take it's it all out. It's a circus out, car. There's not room in your house for all this stuff. We uh -huh. had to pile all our stuff in Blake's room. Um, Half this Christmas stuff. So oh, there. everything is still everywhere it's because everywhere. we painted it and I don't want to put the stuff back on the shelf until it's been drying for like a week to make sure it doesn't stick to it because uh, stuff was stuck to it when we took it out. Um, but we scraped the ceiling in the closet primed the ceiling and then I decided you know what we're gonna paint the whole closet because when they redid our house from the water damage one of the things they did was to paint the closet and they used a high gloss paint which is awful on flat walls in a closet so it it was really bothering me there's two streaks in particular that look like they did it with a paintbrush that I could just see like sideways um so primed the ceiling Dan scraped the, the popcorn off the ceiling yes prime I primed the ceiling one coat of primer two coats of paint on the entire closet um, and it's like a walk-in closet. It's a, a big-sized closet. Mm -hmm. um, then you sanded what we had... Because we already scraped the, the popcorn off the ceiling in the bathroom. Right, right, right. You sanded what we had patched in there on the ceiling. And then I did two coats of primer on the ceiling and two coats of paint. I had to send Dan for more paint halfway through. Um, but yes, the bathroom ceiling and the entire closet are done. The bedroom is not. So maybe another month or so. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Um, Hannah, with her super chat, who has been supporting us for 34 months. Thank you so much, friend. Friends, I've missed you. I had to pull myself away from Garden Simulator. Such a zen game. Anyway, hi. Can't wait for another fun-filled stream. Woo! Did you yes. know that there is pressure washer simulator? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, there, there is. Linda Thompson said, did you get the parcel yet? Yes. yes. It's sitting right there, and it'll be opened up uh, later tonight. Once we get the everything made, so the, the crust is going to go in the oven for like 15 minutes, but there's three more steps that have to be done. Then it goes in the oven for half an hour. At that point, we will, we'll, we'll open both packages from both windows. Two, two windows sent us packages. Um, Hannah, Dan used to play a lot of roller coaster simulator. And when we were on uh, the mummy ride at Universal Studios, he was very concerned that it was going to, like, drop. But it only has uh, a lap belt. And I had to look over him and go, didn't you play roller coaster simulator? If you've only got a lap belt and there's a little, like, pouch to put your stuff in, you're fine. There's no shoulder harness. You're good. That one got me. When it turned around, I thought it was going to open up a door and just, like, drop. Okay. All right. I got to uh, catch up. Don't, don't move it. I got to catch up to these chats. Everybody's getting restless. Uh... I, I hope I pronounced this right. Dewan roll it. Uh, says, glad to see you guys tonight. My husband and I both caught the big C this week. Four oh. years clear. And we caught it from our daughter. So did my brother's wife. She got her uh, her test back last night. And uh, it's my brother's birthday today. I don't know if he's here, but happy birthday to Jason. Yes. Uh, happy COVID birthday. <laughs> 
Wait, so is yeah, Crystal no, gonna I, be Wilton? Yeah, in, in real life? In real life, yes. Yes, yes in real life. And let me tell you, she's very much more 3D than you see on the screen. <laughs> I believe it. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. There's a lot of people that we've talked to for years that I'm gonna get to, like, see in real life. Hannah said, wait to skip my member chat. All right, hold on. No, I got it. I okay. just hadn't. We're, we're still behind. We're up there. Hannah, you know how this goes. I'm we jumping to the to bottom. Talking. I, I leave the, the chat at the top. Dan gets mad. I can't with y'all. I dump to the bottom. <laughs> That's, I, sorry, if we missed it I, at this point, it's gone forever. I dump to the bottom. I, uh, I'm starting with... Oh, no, uh, this is not flower time, I'm starting with uh, the gaming hands... Comment. The pressure washer sim is back to the future. Has back to the future TLC. Shut up. Oh my gosh. Oh my no gosh. Way. Yes. Uh, Mooch is like, I smell the cream cheese. Oh, he got booted off the island. I don't know where he went. He's around here somewhere. Oh, he'll be back. He's don't here you somewhere. worry. Okay, so we did two sticks of butter, which is a cup of butter. Um, we're going to do two cups of flour, half a cup of light brown sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. It's also Black Panther's 47th birthday today. Chadwick Boseman. Black Panther, uh, the, uh... Say it. The, 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 <laughs> the, the... Hold on. Let me get my facts here. No, Chadwick Boseman is the Black Panther, right? It's his 47th birthday. Yes. If I understand. Uh, Afriel, thank you. I yes. did already turn okay. the oven on before uh, we started because I was afraid I was going to forget. I caught what you were saying now. Happy birthday, Chadwick. <laughs> what a weird name. No, that's good. I like it. But like, It's Chad's better than Chayton. It is. Sorry to all the Chaytons out there. It's better than Todrick. Um, we have... We have uh, preheated the oven. Yes. Um, my brown sugar... I even got a different brand. There must be something going on with brown sugar lately, like, as a whole, because I got a completely different store brand from a completely different store, and it's still got the little clumps in it so i've been having to check it and they're still soft they're just clumps hey dad i read that mcdonald's is bringing back the adult happy meals i oh, still with the little mcnugget figures i still have my old mcnugget figures we do um well, we were talking about this at universal studios were we no no jess and i were talking about it the second night at disneyland and we were looking at them and i was concerned that the mcnuggets because my McNuggets is a nugget, and then you put the accessories on it. I was concerned that it was molded to one piece. The but picture when, I saw looked like it's it comes off. Upon further review, the cape and stuff on the one Dracula-looking one did look like it it, it came off. I don't yeah, know. It looks look, like there's here's the thing. I got a bunch of Happy Meals with Jess in, when we were in Michigan, because we were trying to get the Disney characters. And so maybe I can try to, like, recapture that with the nuggets. But those nuggets come out the Monday we come back from Novi, so... You know, maybe I'll try to get a Happy Meal with a with a Nug toy in it and take it back with me. I'm not sure, but I am a little excited about that. But I'll find my old ones. I have a box with like almost like all. I, oh man, I have the Transformer ones. I have the Garfield ones. I have the Tonka Truck ones. I have the Muppet Baby ones. Even though I didn't like Muppet Babies, I have the Fraggle Rock toys. I have a big, huge box. It's in a video somewhere from a decade ago. I've gone through and made a video of all these old toys I have. And yes, I do have my old uh, Chicken Nugget toys. Some of them are mine too. I saved all my old ones. Yeah. It's nice, like, it's neat, but... Blake played with him when he was a kid, and that was fun. It's fun yeah. when you have a kid, and, like, you're like, look at these things I liked, and they're like, that's cool, bro. Where's my cool Transformers? Where's uh, my Game Boy? The Game Boy, I went straight. You'll see. Watch the videos out now. When you guys get bored with us, go watch it. It's up now. It's over 30 minutes on. Um, I The first ride we went to was a small world. That was my favorite ride. It smells like Disneyland. It still looks like Disneyland, and uh, I liked it. I liked it. Uh, FM says, when I was a kid, Dad always taught us to compress the brown sugar for baking. Isn't that still how it's done? Yes. Yes, brown sugar should, unless it says otherwise, and I've never seen it say otherwise, but most recipes will say packed brown sugar. Even if it doesn't, you pack your brown sugar in. Flour, on the other hand, um, if you remember from, like, junior high home ec, you're supposed to take a spoon and scoop it in there. But if you watch me, I kind of try to just loosely scoop it. Flour should not be packed. Flour should be, like, poured in. But uh, brown sugar absolutely should be packed down in there. I always push it down with my dad. Also, hand. imagine your dad or my dad, like, imagine your dad giving you baking advice. No, my dad's Isn't only advice crazy? was on, like, eggs and hash browns. And, and it was mostly, if you want breakfast, you better get up at 6. And yeah. that was never But that's one. cool. So yay for your dad. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hey, Dan, any streakers at Disneyland? You'll have to watch the video to find out. You'll have to watch it. Nikki said, I'm getting Snow Dogs Vlogs merch for Christmas. You wait. Because I saw, with my own eyes, uh, there's new stuff that's never been done before that's coming out any 
week day now uh, for Snow Dog stuff that you're gonna love. Nancy said, fun video, I was at Universal and Disneyland in 1985. Definitely changed. Um, it's changed since we went, uh, we, last we went to Universal, Blake was maybe like seven or eight, so like 2009, 10-ish, mm -hmm. and it was different, although the Mummy Ride's still there and still exactly the same. And uh, so is the Waterworld show. Dude, the Waterworld show was I, I was talking to somebody at work about it, and he said he heard they were going to change it soon. I don't know what to, but we were Ti talking about that. Timely. <laughs> ti 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 timely. Okay, so, um, uh... Do, do, do. Oh, wait. Okay, so we got Linda's box. Uh, are you going to Jess's house or just Novi? Just Novi, because we're kind of worried a little bit about flying in and out and, and the snow and stuff like that. Um, yes, new stuff will be released after uh, 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 Novi. Um, so, uh, um, we went to the Small World uh, uh, first, and I, I really enjoy the, the, small, the Small World ride. So, that's good. Uh, my disabled mom was a cook at a London hospital. Oh, that's good for her. All right. My dad was a professional cook and taught me everything I know. My mom could burn, my mom could burn water. Bless her heart. <laughs> me too. Me too. Me too. You could burn water, or your mom? I probably I could burn water. Uh, Hannah said, "I've never been to Disney. It's neat. It's fun. It is immersive. It smells like Disneyland." Uh. I'm not a big Disney fan, but um, after going to Universal, I didn't even go to Disney with them, and I would recommend Disneyland. Universal was a... It wasn't bad. It was an experience, but a lot of the rides are uh, visual-based and not roller coasters. They're like that 3D yeah. and augmented reality and stuff, and... We had a good time there. We but, absolutely did. But yo, man, we also uh, two <laughs> of the three of us got game. a little motion sickness. Um, I feel crummy a little bit, and I don't get motion sickness. Oh, that Harry Potter ride but pushed me over the, the edge. After the tenth ride, where you're on a pole and you just move like this, why this, th why the IMAX screen moves around, it does mess with you a little bit. Um, uh, they need to step up their game. Although that being said, we had a great, 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 great time. So much fun. So much fun and so much fun. It was so it was so much fun. All right, so the recipe says you can line your pan with parchment paper or you can grease it. I'm not going to take it out of this pan. This pan has a lid, so I'm going to leave it in here. So I'm just going to grease my pan rather than parchment paper it. I never if you haven't seen me do this before, if you have butter in your recipe and you need to grease your pan, butter is basically like wrapped in parchment paper, wax paper type stuff. So save your butter wrappers and use that to grease your pan and get the last little bit of butter off of it. Although, there's not much on here. I do have one more butter wrapper at some point. I'll be using butter. Where does that come in? At the end. Yeah, I'll just throw that in a bowl so I can use that wrapper. Uncle Yukon says Knott's Berry Farm was better. I haven't been there forever. My mom took Blake when he was a kid, but we did not go with them. So I don't think I've been since I was a kid. I, I think next year's uh, back and forth trip is Knott's and um, Knott's in Disneyland. And we don't have to hotel jump. Three yeah. hotels in three days. Yeah, that was hardcore for you guys. Yeah, you know, honestly, honestly, like, after all the years of traveling and doing all the things, like, it's, it's like, just right on par. It's, yeah. Yeah. Which well, is neat. I've always wanted to travel. We did stay in the cutest hotel in Hollywood. I was very impressed with the, what was it called? Adler? Alder? Al Jess, what was it called? Yeah, the Adler. Um, It was cute. It was right there. It was, like, right on the next street from Hollywood Boulevard. And, uh, which we go up Hollywood Boulevard in the video. Let's go away. Uh, and it was cute on the inside. It was, it was cute on the inside. Hollywood's, uh, whew. Hollywood's Hollywood. Uh, but it was cute. It was, it was cute. I need a little more butter than my, uh, wax paper provided. Oh, I guess I should have saved one of those to spread this. Oops. Uh, Walton says, in my life I've been to Disney World. Oh my gosh, I want to go to Disney World for like a week. Uh, Cypress Garden, now Legoland. Uh, both Bush Gardens. Ah, I used to go to Bush Gardens all the time in high school. No, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> uh, we did Legoland 
It was faded and stuff. Oh, I do. Legoland like Land was fun. I love Lego though, but I really enjoyed Lego Land. Blake had a lot of fun. It's definitely geared more towards smaller kids, at least ours. I know there's different Lego Lego Lands in the world. I want to go to Dollywood. I have no idea what's there, but there's a roller coaster and like, I, apologies in advance. Is it like like a like no a bosom? Ride? No, no, no. Stop. You no, know, it stop. I thought it was no. But is there a roller coaster there? I would go to Dolly World. That sounds fun. Was that Clark Gable in the bathroom? I think it was Clark Griswold. In the <laughs> there was a famous mural in the bathroom staring down at you. <laughs> as um, you can see in wait. the video. It was even more um, unnerving when you were in the shower, by the way. Like, he was staring at you naked in the shower. I know. It was great. I was just like, Yeah, I bet no. you were. Um... <laughs> Who's been to Carowinds? Is that like is that like a Marie Calendars? <laughs> I think it's another theme park. My daughter got married on Dollywood. Yeah, so I, how is it? Is it pretty neato when you guys went? All right, so we're just gonna take this. Uh, this is the crust, and it's quite um, like for something that's a cheesecake. It's not like a graham cracker crust. I didn't even think about that till just right now, and I'm like, oh, it's kind of like a shortbread. So, a little, little different. Uh, I I went to I went to California Adventure and the Cars ride was so fun. It's my new favorite ride. They're like it's on the mandatory list now of rides to go on. Like the mandatory list is Small World, Haunted Mansion, now Cars ride. There could be more, but those two every time, and Cars ride, and then. Uh, we did go on Pirates of the Caribbean, and boy, did I take what? a bad photo there. <laughs> yeah, you did. Did you guys see on my Instagram, just this big blur white photo? It's, you go up this ramp on Pirates of the Caribbean, and then it drops you down into the ride, and at the top, there's like a school talking to you, and we were sitting in the front car, and I was front middle, and I went up, and I'm like, I just want to take a photo of this, and then I'll ride the ride, and I don't know what happened. It is completely pitch black, and we get to the top, and I hit the photo button, and it goes, pop, pop, boom! And it's all <laughs> and its glory. It lit, lights up the whole room. Everybody's eyes are dilated, and the picture's blurry as we go down the thing. And I think Jess was yelling at me, expletive deleted. It's like, are you even a content creator? And then, but the words were flying over our head because we're going down. And she got soaked, so it's good for her. And then you right? laughed at her. I kind of, like, moved out of the way of the water. Uh, Christine says, what's so. in that crust? It looks thick. So it is oh, just yeah, okay. two sticks of butter, two cups of flour, half a cup of... Oh, my God, I got so much quieter when he closed this door and I can't hear the 3D printer. Uh, half a cup of brown sugar and, a, like, a... It was a quarter teaspoon or something of, of salt. So, yeah, it is definitely more like a shortbread crust. Nancy says, Cedar Point has the most and best roller coasters than anywhere else. We were talking about that, actually, while we were at uh, Universal. I'm a big roller coaster fan. I can um, do it. I can do it. We've worked me up, but I can do it. I did it. I put my hands up once. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So the Harry Potter roller coaster at Universal Studios. Um, thank goodness. By the way, Universal completely empty. Like, almost no lines. I think no, the most we had to no wait lines. was for one car to be loaded ahead of us. Perfect day. Um, it was per great. It perfect was, day. The Tuesday after Thanksgiving <laughs> is the day to go to Universal, apparently. Um. It is all of a three second ride, no joke. Like you go up, you do what, two, three corkscrews, and then you go like up and down and around and that's it, and you're done. And we are like, whoa, that's it? I made Dan put his hands up. I'm yelling, put your hands up, put no, your hands up, put I your did. hands up. I did. And he did, and we I went through like out. one and a half corkscrews, and he said, okay, I'm done. Hands went down, <laughs> that I, was it. I didn't fly, I didn't fly out. Um, We went on the mummy ride, which is a ride that goes forward, and then. Wait, that goes forward really, really, really fast yeah. in pitch blackness. It's Love crazy. It, it just Amazing. kicks you around. But then I've never been backwards. Then it goes back. It doesn't even turn around. It's lazy. It just goes backwards again. And then it gets to the end. And that's when it started turning around. And I was waiting for that door to open. I <laughs> was like, is it going to drop me? Is it going to drop me? Is it going to drop me? Oh, my gosh, Dan. I was so embarrassed for me. Uh, <laughs> you. Uh, uh, but I am ready to, like, go on the other. I try to go on the Incredicoaster at California Adventure. But it's under, re like, cons it's like they're, like, ma upgrading it or maintenance in it. Uh, Mario Land was beautiful, by the way. Mario Land um, was be beautiful. One, one ride. That's all they have there. There's nothing to do at Mario Land, but it's a start. They're expanding. 
Uh, it was beautiful. I got chills. I got a little, like, not teary-eyed, but, like... You were pretty excited just walking I up to it. I told you so. All you people. I told you video games were rad when I was a child. <laughs> you did. Suck it. <laughs> Suck it, all you people that didn't like all the electronic stuff that I was into as a kid. It's there now, and there's a land of it. There's no lawyer land. There's no doctor land. There's no policeman land. This is Mario Land, so suck it. So I was all excited and vindicated. Yeah, I was going to say, you've been vindicated. Dan. I've been vindicated. So I liked it. It was beautiful. Well, well It was beautiful. Your camera went so, down. So go Mario Land. It's not positioned right. Like, something's all wrong. All right. Here, let me, let me, uh, let me read it. Uh, Shannon says, I want to ride the mummy so bad. It's my favorite movie. It barely has anything to do with the movie. Like, there's a couple of spots where no. you see some things. Mostly you just no. shoot... Forward really fast, like eye-wateringly fast. We rode it twice. There's that was the only thing we went on that's twice. The mummy. There's no scarabs. There's no Brendan Fraser. Oh, there's no false. librarian. False. There are scarabs because the the ankle thing. But there was they did not they were not in the shape of the the, the silhouettes um, were not the shape from the mummy. Movie. And there was uh, what's the one guy? I can't think of his name. Ber- Bernie there's Shannon. No- what's the guy's name? And and uh, they try to get out and then he doesn't get out. Is it the librarian guy? No, it's the... And he's dressed in white, and it's Bernie or... Be- Benny. Is it Benny? Um, he He's, you know, projected on the wall at some point. Okay, okay, so there is... There is the... Yeah. But there is the, no main there's characters. There's the chanting of the Emotep uh, stuff. Like, there, it is sort of themed, but it's not... Eh. It's more themed as you're walking to get in line than when you're on the ride because the ride is literally just pitch darkness. It is. Um, I liked it. We went on it twice. Uh, we tried to do twice in a row, but it broke after we went on it the first time, and we still came back and went on it a second time. We did. We did. I like. I like that one. That that was good. I like that. So I'm working my way back up to the Coasterville. Um, I I was into coasters as a kid. I had my season pass to Magic Mountain, which is only an hour away. So I think my next step is to go to Magic Mountain with Crystal. Oh, please. And then. Then we'll, try, ride real roller coasters. then we'll try Cedar Point. Real roller coasters don't make me nauseous at all. Those, what what do you even call them? I call them, like, uh, it wasn't experiences. It was, there was a word, I'll think of it. It was, uh, uh, it's, like an, it's like an experience. You're, like, on a pole, you're moving around, there's lots of screens, 3D goggles. I felt like, like, the Transformers one, to me, when I, tra- I was trying to explain it to my mom, it feels like, like, the ride is, like, an X or a T shape. And you, like, go in, and then you back out, and you go here, and you go here, and you, like, because we right, were moving right. to some degree. And it, and it gives you... But it's mostly just the screen that makes you feel like you're moving. It's not a yeah. ride. But just said the I 3D and 4D screens give me motion sickness after a while. Y- yes, because we're not just, like, going forward. We're moving around. And every ride, um, this is, this is just us talking. Like, I don't complain. Every ride gets you wet. So, like, um... <laughs> yes. The Transformer ride, like, Megatron spit on me. And yep. Despicable Me, I got wet. The Life of Pets, I went through a dog wash, so I was okay with that. I got wet. This, yeah, um, every single ride we went on, except for, like, two get you get. I don't wet. think we got wet on the mummy ride, did we? didn't we? get wet on the mummy <laughs> ride. Did we? I don't think so. I don't think we got wet on the, on the mummy ride. But every ride, the Harry Potter ride, got me wet. Okay, guys. Oven's preheated to 350. This is going to go in for 15 to 20 minutes until lightly brown. Yeah, deal. Pretty much motion experience rides. Motion simulator rides. But they're just, like, experiences where it's not... Alexa. Uh, and, and you'll see if you watch. You'll see if you watch the video in, in the minions ride. I deliberately got a, a video Alexa, like this, and that video shows just the big like I'm in an IMAX room with a bunch of different cars, and it, it just kind of moves, you know. Yeah, a little disappointed. I mean, yeah, it's universal. It's not like known for roller coasters, but a little disappointed at the lack of roller coasters. Especially since with a movie theme capital. Yes. You know? And even um, if you guys have been to Universal, you know the backlot tram ride thing. Even that, they've always had the um, the you go into the building. I guess it is. Yeah, we had. Earth, and yeah. there's King Kong, and like there's the big King Kong thing that's gone, and it's all it burnt 3D down. Simulator. Did it burnt down, down, and I, I believe when it burnt, you can see this exoskeleton of them. I kind of love um, that. I yeah, missed, even that was 3D uh, Simulator. I missed Earthquake when I took the tram ride yes. one time. You'd go in there, and it simulated a big earthquake. But when Blake was a kid, the pillars and we came didn't, down. We didn't warn him yeah. about it, and I convinced um, him like there's a real earthquake happening. <laughs> Listen, uh, mummy oh. ride. Do you ride in a closed mummy box? Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be uh, great? I read it before you deleted it. No, no, it's just a uh, like four seats across with a lap belt. Yeah, it's kind of like a wall. It's kind of like a different version of no, no, that's a bad analogy. It's not. <laughs> it's not. We had so much fun though. 
It was, we did have a lot it of fun. Was it was a so fun day fun. for sure. Oh, we ate crusty burgers. Oh yes, <laughs> we did eat crusty burgers. They have a uh, Beyond Burger crusty burgers that are about an inch and a half uh, thick. So much meat. We had meat. we had amazing donuts from Voodoo Donuts, not the one in Washington, but the oh one in Seattle. Oh my gosh! You guys, I take back everything I ever said about Voodoo Donuts. We've talked about yeah. it before on here, and I've said that it's underwhelming. I will say Blake was underwhelmed. We brought him back the the Voodoo doll donut. He was not very impressed with it. You guys, they have a mango jelly filled donut with like a white cream and some sugar sprinkles on top that's a little bit sour and then the inside's just sweet. Um, I got a second one to take home and eat the next morning because it was that amazing. So um, I take back everything I said about Voodoo Donuts, at least about the mango tango donut. It's amazing. Uh, yes, the Psycho House is still there. Norman Bates still comes out and, and comes after you with a knife. But that's still there. The, the hotel and the house. Jaws is still there, but the set is different. He's not just in the like big water area. They have like it's set up like the the beach, like with the houses and shops and stuff. Is this a fresh towel you got out? No, that was just sitting there. You must have laid it out. I chat, what, where did this? T- <laughs> where did this uh, towel I think come I from? Did, chat, if it was laying flat, then yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I compulsively do the things I compulsively what do. What are Krusty Burgers? Like, you don't remember, like, Krusty Burger from the, the Krusty the Clown Burger? And if so, and you from, just want to know what the burger from is? From The Simpsons. It uh, was just a cheeseburger. Un- Universal Studios has uh, The Simpsons-themed area with The Simpsons rides and, uh, like, all The Simpsons buildings. Well, not all of them, but, like, a bunch of Simpsons buildings set up. And the restaurant yeah. in The Simpsons area is Krusty Burger. And it's just a burger joint with fries. Um, meh. Like, it wasn't bad. But it was just a it burger was place. It was, it was just a, uh, yeah, it was the, just a burger the place. The fries were nothing. Um, right maybe about. there was like four or five things that we did that I have no footage of. So I, I hope that Jess has some like crusty burger footage for her videos because Jess did make a full vlog as well uh, with some of the, with some of the stuff. Uh, uh, so there's some gaps. Out. There's some gaps in mine. So I was a little disappointed in myself. But um, honestly, a lot of the times, and I know you guys will like this. I put it away and I, I had a good time. I, I had just uh, enjoy the experience. I, I had a good hot. Amelia yeah, Swicked Adventure says, wait, they got rid of some of the stuff that was on the tram ride at Universal? Yeah, there was a fire um, yeah, um, it burned a down few a lot years of the back that, in the back lot area. So, yeah, the with and, the clock tower. I, yeah, and I might be wrong, but I believe the clock tower burnt down. I believe the Whoa. King Kong burnt down. I, there was a lot of issues back there. So it was a little bit of a different ride. Some of it was the same, but it was a little bit, it was a little bit different. Just says, I don't know if I have any. I was I was looking and I was bad at vlogging too. I thought we did a great job because we always had the camera out. But we we're just we we're auto, we we're there. There could have been a chance that we didn't even tell anybody we went. Like like we just wanted to get away. So you guys will get stuff. There's also about a hundred photos that didn't make it in there that did show the gaps because I was always taking photos. So I want to do a photo vlog where I just show the photos and then like Crystal and I kind of talk and be like, oh, this is what happened here and there. And you know, there's. Photos of Crystal. Like you did for your Vegas yeah, like thing. You, yeah, oh, yeah, but no videos for us to right. talk over. But, like, you know, there's, there was a point where, like, you were, like, trying to eat uh, the <laughs> policeman's donut or uh, uh, just some of the s- stuff. I didn't get anything of the Magic Castle when it was lit up, but Jess did. So, you know. Yeah, we did enjoy ourselves, Hannah. It, it, it did. We did. Uh, Alexis says, you guys didn't say hi to me yet. Hello? And hi, Alexis, from the previous I missed it. And then, wait, hi, Alexis, in case I missed one more time. Um, uh, can I bring you guys cookies from my school, please, when I see you again next week? Yes. We will accept all and every, uh, style of cookie. Yes. Uh, so, yes. snacks will never be turned down. Ever. Correct. Especially donuts. <laughs> uh, hey, Dan. Yeah. Chase Parker just joined the RFS fam. Hello, uh, friend. I'm so what's sorry up, I didn't get to see you. I bummed out about that. We talked about it. We're going to go back down again and hang out with Chase, who's great. It's so cool. We, we go with Chase. That blew out everybody's ears. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, uh, we had such a good time. Oh, yeah. I have this thing. I always forget. I can. We got a new apple slicer that has that thing so you can push it through. Even though I got lost like three times, we're never lost when we're with him. So... Yeah. It was good. I just Did you steal one? No. What are you eating? My tongue? Toothpaste? <laughs> That's not gonna work. The sound <laughs> of an apple crunching is so distinct. Dan. Disappointed. But we did have a great time. He's like our tour guide and our buddy. 
And watch out, Blake just came out with a rubber gloves on. Oh, it's got kind of got lotion on. Latex gloves. Oh yeah. Wait, come into frame. Wait, you, you put you put lotion on and then you put your latex gloves on. That's what are you creepy. doing in your laboratory? Oh, I'm just holding my my, my new phone. But yeah, I try to keep it at room temperature. But I I was coming from sugar colors. You're turning grimace. But I I put. <laughs> I put the gloves on because I put lotion on because my hands are really dry right now, and I don't want to touch it's things because I don't like how. I appreciate that. Hands. So I put gloves on. It's a good bit of orange. Yeah, these are good colors. These are the new ones that just came right now. Yeah. So your same day delivery that you that you ordered finally did happen. No. Or yes, yes. Only part of it though. The other oh. part. Of it. Oh, those are good colors. Everybody's saying hi, Blake. Hello. Yeah. Good job. I'm famous. I'm chewing my tongue. I. You should have seen him bite the heck out of my tongue in Disneyland. It was bad. Blake is building a, a person, Doctor Frankenstein, Uncle Yukon. He was. He was making like something the other day. It was like snowman, and it was printing, you know, sideways. So it was like half the snowman's there. And I'm like, dude, you're a modern day Frankenstein's monster. No. Or Frankenstein. Frank yes. Frankenstein. It's like, chunk, 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 chunk. Yeah. So yeah, it is. It's alive. It's alive. This is what this is what Petrie gave up his bones for. <laughs> from Land Book Four Time. Foot. Little foot little foot's right here. <laughs> little foot's right here. Do you understand the reference? No. Oh. Did you never watch Land Before Time? I did. You just don't remember. These apples are wild. so white. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. They're so white. That's not an apple. <laughs> That's a pear. Right? Too bad you don't have chickens. They oh, love yes. apple skins. Oh, huh. I had no idea. Oh, I don't eat apple skins. Like, even when I eat apples, I can't with the skin. I, I hear they're good for you, but I can't with the skin. Are we going to do anything with these apples? Okay, good. They get stuff on them. Oh, crap. Hey, Dan. Mm -hmm. Can you get my container of frozen lemon juice out of the freezer? Because apparently I did not see the part where I need lemon juice. I looked over it and was like, yeah, I have that. Didn't take it out and thought. It should be right in the front, the big tall one. Can you take one square out and put it in there? No. Uh-uh. And then when you're done with that, can you wrangle the cat? Sure. Oh, he's fine. Um, I told this story already to everybody, but I'll tell it to you guys. When I was driving down from here to LAX uh, 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 uh. to get Jess at the airport, uh, there was a cop and he had a circus pulled over. <laughs> so I think the circus was coming to town and it was pulled over, and the one cop, like the SUV cop, was there with his lights, and the whole circus was uh, pulled over on the side. So I don't know if he was a fan or what. <laughs> Just but trying to get some free tickets for his kids. Yeah, yeah, but I saw a cop. I couldn't get the phone. I was driving, there was so much traffic. I couldn't get the phone out to circus it, and I was like, oh my gosh. I so happy, Mooch. Pets are food. And Brittany says when her mom made apple pie, she'd cut a few extra apples because I love to take it from the bowl and munch. Yeah, I should probably do that. This recipe said um, there's tax on about three apples, but I washed four just in case. So there may be extra for Dan. I need food. Hey, our Chewy order came, by the way. It did. Um, Chewy had a really great uh, Black Friday deal that continued on well into, uh, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday that I actually placed the order. And there was lots of stuff that was like 30 to 50% off. Oh, Dan. Yeah. I got the cats a new cat tree because it was super cheap. Really? It's just a little one. I don't know if it's in there or if that's just the food, but I got them a little one. It's just two sticks with a basket on top, like huh. two support poles, and then it has a basket. So there's a bonus basket since they, it always, could be, it was, they always battle to see who can get in the basket. It was just one box. It was just one box. I ordered a lot of cat food, but it's all little cans, so it may be in there with it. 
Hey, you just got kicked out of here. What do you think? Uh, Dale says my favorite type of apples are Macintoshes. Um, I don't know that I'm... I may have had them. I can't recall like what the flavor is. I pretty much always get Granny Smith. We all like Granny Smith. Every once in a while, I'll get a, a little variety and grab one of a few other things. Which... No. You're gonna have to drink out of the bowl because I'm cooking. No. Oh, would it help to nuke Mooch's nap buddy? No, I, maybe, but his electric blanket's on over there. He doesn't want a nap. He wants cream cheese. And he, right now he was trying to get uh, some sink water because he just woke up, but there's too much going on over here. Uh, I did warm it up before we started though, because he was up here and did not want to be on his electric blanket on the couch. Ooh, Hannah says we had an apple unit in kindergarten where we tried a bunch of different apples. Oh, that sounds fun. If I had a little kid, I would do that. Well, where did Dan go? I'm right here. Can you read my last comment? Yes. Bam, 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 bam. Am I still going to help at Novi this year? Yes. If you go to Novi, you're working. When I say working, <laughs> you might be responsible for such tasks as... Keep an eye on him. He's really Dangling treats in front of the dogs to get their attention for people's photos. Encouraging people that are standing out there looking to come meet the dogs. And... You good? And fetching Dan some dog treats if he's hungry. <laughs> or, or llama treats. Was that alpaca? Llama? What did Sarah get to? Oh, it was an ice cream cone of goodness. I don't remember. <laughs> so Whatever it was, it was meant yes. for an animal. Oh, he's staring right at you, and it's your fault. Sup? I'm hungry, Mooch. You want to eat some food with me? I'm hungry. Mooch will always eat. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, there's 98 people here. Hello. Happy Friday yeah. night. We are cooking apple... Caramel apple cheesecake Caramel bars. Caramel apple cheesecake bars. Crystal slicing some... Okay, I think I have to stop. Some apples. Okay. And uh, oh, I got to... You can't chop the apples too early or they get brown, but I gotta make the cheesecake portion of this. But my stuff is done in like two minutes and it says to pour the cheesecake on top of the warm crust. Yeah, my life's Wicked Adventures, they had some fires there at Universal. It was sad the one year we were watching all that history burn down. Oh, uh, Brittany said, uh, oh, Becky says, how are Dan? Dan are fantastic. <laughs> Just said, uh, I told what? him. Why aren't you Dantastic? You should be Dantastic. That's what Holly calls me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's Holly's, yeah, I was Dantastic, Fair so enough. that's her nickname for me. I miss Holly. I told Jess to put me to work at Nova. You'll be working. Most of the time, like, people will say stuff like, can we this or that or is there that for sale and then you'll just an you'll you'll know all the questions you just answer the questions for them and then squish them off that way uh otherwise we got it down uh sarah says it was just an ice cream cone of some sort of pellets the goats like them too <laughs> uh mel shane 23 oh maybe you just showed up uh, hey dana crystal so is there a reason why jess came to california are you guys going to tell that story oh my gosh we've been talking about it the whole stream jess came to california because when we usually have vid summit in la uh, before it moved to Texas this year, Jess comes in a day early. We go and we go to Disneyland and stuff, and then we do the Vid Summit and we go back and you know we learn we learn all the new things for the year for YouTube and stuff like that. You know, kind of like you know as we get burnt out a little bit, it gets us all pumped up again. Well, this year, uh, Vid oh, Summit so moved to Texas, and as you know, at the last minute we couldn't make it. Um, so <laughs> Jess just squeezed in a, a a quick trip to fly out here. We hit the two amusement parks and then you know fast as she went back home before Novi next week like we're 20. Uh, <laughs> no, but I was really exhausted was after one amusement park. I don't know how you guys did a second. It, it, it was that. And I'll tell you what. We work really hard behind the scenes 24-7. It never stops. It never ever stops. So anytime we can catch a break to go do this stuff. When you catch a break you, there's a 30 minute video of our trip. We do it. And we love what we do. But yeah so we just we did it. We did it. And we did it. What are we doing? I thought it was like it canceled. Just sat on the tarmac while they were de-icing the plane. We didn't know until we were. she was in the air to Detroit that I was texting Crystal like, it's on. We were, Dan and I were discussing like, okay, if Jess yeah. can't make it out, do yeah. we still do go? Do we still go? Can Jess get her money back for the hotel? Like, what can we, you know? So, 
So, yeah, so we just, we just did it. Yes. Okay, Christine said, when I was a teacher, I did an experiment with the kids on smell and taste. Perce uh, smell and taste, perception and reality. I cut oh, up apples and potatoes and had the kids try each of them blindfolded with nose plugs. I think sometimes that potatoes taste like the apple. No, no, like, help. has apple texture. Okay. Yes, very but much. You gotta move so I can come help. Thank you. He's determined and wants water, but he, he can't. Sure, we're going to go to Waterville. We're going to Waterville. I got this. I got this. Okay, but you have to move so I can continue. I got this. Don't worry. This melted. You ever go to Waterville on this side, Mitch? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's good. We're we're good, girl. We're good. We're good. Um, uh, I have tried that. I I I have tried that. Like when I grab the seasoned potato bites, and they feel like apples to me sometimes. So I get it. The textures are very similar. In Becky, three seconds, can you pop that open? Becky said... Is it melted? No. Okay, close it and I got start. This. I got this. I just, I don't want it to, like, get hot. No, you're good. Okay, it's not all the way melted, but it's getting more temperature than melted. So okay. we should just let it... Oh, let it sit for a second. It's, yeah, dissol yeah. it's dissolving. Good enough, thank you. It's dissolving. Okay. I got, I got this. I, I got this. Um, Thanks. Uh, they could not tell the difference between the apples and potatoes. I did never thought about it, but when I would season the potatoes before I put them in there and I'd crunch on them, it made me feel apple happy. So I get that. Apple happy. <laughs> uh, where is Topo sleeping on the electric blanket since like two in the afternoon? Okay, I still got this. I, st I still got this. Excuse me. Uh, please tell me you're bringing your red jacket again. I'm not sure how much room I'm gonna have. I'm not sure, because now I'm bringing like 100 things in my head, so I'm not sure. And my poor jacket's getting sad, so last year when we wore the jacket might be the only time, but I'd hate for everybody to show up to miss wearing the jacket in my photos, so I'm not sure. I have this much carry-on space, and ugh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Alexa, set a two-minute timer. Two minutes. Just, okay. All right, we're going the full 20 minutes on that. Jess says, uh, if you, if I would not have made it, I would have expected you guys to still go. Okay. Hi, Terry. Terry says, LOL, smell the apple, eat the potato. <laughs> that should be a shirt. Okay, so it's time to make the cheesecake filling. I still have to chop up at least one more apple, but I need to get the cheesecake filling going because it's got to go on that while it's warm. So I'm going to set this over here. April, there'll be more Novi's in the future. Uh, Becky Ross with the Super Chat. Chat, thank, thank you so you much. Have you sent a Christmas, have you sent Christmas, have you sent any Christmas cards yet? No, I've received like three. Our Christmas card box just got here. So we do have Christmas cards, which we'll talk about when this is in the oven. Yes. Uh, but we do have Christmas cards that will go out. They won't even go out before we get back from Dubai at all. Because we'll have a big stack. We'll write them all out. We'll send them. But yes. All right. Yes. This is going to be our cheesecake portion of the recipe. We're going to do two whole boxes of cream cheese. Yikes. Yikes. Alexis, if you want me to read something, uh, to, copy and paste it again, please. To be fair, yes. um, it's a 9 by 13 pan. So That's you know. big? Or not? Yeah, that's a full, like, the, the big pan. Yeah. Are we still figuring out what you're going to bake to bring to Nova? Did somebody ask, or are you just asking? I was just, I was just asking. Oh, I have so many things to figure out, <laughs> it's not even funny. Um, yes, yes, we're still... I, I've narrowed it down, but I have not decided yet. It has to be something that's going to travel and keep well. Um, which doesn't necessarily align with what I have in mind as like, oh, I really want people to try this, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Dan, are you wearing your hawk for Novi? Yes, I will be in Dantix mode for, yeah. I will be a character for Novi. Write stuff down. I do have a yellow notepad over there with a big list for Novi. We have so many lists. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. I am back in the chat. We have a busy day tomorrow, so I had to, to wrap birthday presents. I got it. I need to talk to your boo about something. A project in the future. I don't want to forget. Uh, uh, we're I, taking this out. We went the full 20 minutes, and I'm just going to let it sit there and cool for a minute. Sarah said, are you going to bring or wear your Christmas light suit again? I don't know. I don't know. Jess asked me about that. I I hate doing things twice. 
I'm not a stand-up comic where they practice their jokes for years <laughs> at a time. But we're running out of time for you to get uh, anything else. I mean, yeah. So I don't know. I, I could read it, but like I feel like I I did that already. Like it's a. But not everybody saw you in it. It's a repeat. <sighs> Uh, so I, I don't know, and I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit that in the red jacket in there, and ah, you know what I mean? So oh I don't gosh. know. So much cream cheese right now, don't tell which. I don't know where he went. Oh. Uh, he was bugging and bugging and bugging, and finally when the cream cheese comes out, he went over to go lay on his blanket. Are you still doing your thing? In terms of what? What do you need? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm clearly I, still I can't keep, Okay, I gotta, okay, go, so I gotta go down on the chat. To this, we're going to add a half a cup of regular white sugar. But I'm going to beat this for just a second to make sure it's all, like, creamy-fied. Amanda says, I'm worn out and still in an asthmatic flare. Are you, like, are you, like, are you struggling to text this? I hope you feel better, friend. Oh my gosh, the chat's doing funky things and not letting me... Click up, yeah. Oh, oh how would you know that? Because I do that often. Oh. You know I man the chat when we do antics. Nikki said, I'm almost done Christmas shopping. Awesome. <laughs> I, I, I bought literally one thing. Uh, Becky with the super chat with, I don't know what that is. What it's, is that? It's a concerning... Oh, it has a number three, and underneath it it says, let's celebrate their third super chat. Oh, oh hey. hey. Well, thank you so much for your third super chat. <laughs> I'm very surprised YouTube's celebrating that. They can't fix basic functions, but hey, <laughs> let's uh, have a pop-up for that. Thank you so much for, uh, for the support. We appreciate you being here. There's 104 people here. Oh, my gosh. Happy Friday night, everybody. December 1st? <gasps> it is Finally, Christmas Day. I look. I even like themed the Danny Baked logo with some snowflakes on it. Oh, jeez. I know. I know. It's a little too girly for you. A little bit. Uh, Warrior Cat says, I went to a district school art show and there was 110 art probably entries. And I got my art into this year's art show. There was 700 entries. Ah, good job. So, awesome. uh, yeah, only 110 openings, it seems like. Um, we'll have to send a pic of, the, of it. Try to set up an Instagram page. Do it. Post it to our page. Uh, and... and is that kind of nice? <laughs> I needed him out of my way. April said, I would love me and Crystal. Eh. She's alright. A little overrated if you ask me. Uh, kind of bitchy. Be Becky, thank you so much for your super chat. Yeah, don't forget the freeze-dried treat again. Treats again. Oh, oh my god. Jess moved up in my book because she remembered them, unlike somebody I have who not, claims to love them. I have not touched them. I like I had one uh I had one nerdy rope thing. I don't know what this is. G gummy nerds. But the and, and the raspberry cheesecake. Raspberry cheesecake's in here. You know what? I'm gonna leave this here and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But yes, there it is for crystal only. <laughs> crystal only. <laughs> Just got a hug out of me for that. A lady JD13 asking if we were putting up a tree this year. No, there are entirely too many nope. rambunctious cats in this house. And we're leaving for like five days to know by. Yeah, no, Baxter, not this year. Baxter leveled up today. He was standing here. I was petting him on the counter over here, and he was one size bigger. And no, I got to keep him from beating Bla all Blake's 3D stuff in there. So. Yeah, they get into uh -uh. too much. He uh -uh. discovered Blake's got those I... little um, Halloween spider rings. And I guess he's got four of them, and he Baxter loves that has spider discovered meat. them, and he has made it his life's I, mission to find them and eat them. I love my cats way more than a Christmas tree. Like I'm having, I have too much fun with them. So no, not just not this year. We'll but. probably put up the one like we did last year, though the mm -hmm. the felt one that goes on the wall. I'm definitely pulling out my uh, ornament that I think it was Melissa got it for us, Melissa from Burbank, with all the cats on it. Yes, I uh -huh. love that. I mean, it's on display in the cupboard anyway. We have that uh, tree that goes. Front cover. Yeah, we have that tree that goes on the wall, and like we did for the Christmas episode. So we'll put that. We'll put that up. We'll put that up. Uh, just yeah, the house in disarray. We can move everything off the mantle again. Everything's <laughs> chaos, even the stream. Uh, we were making more stuff this week. Hopefully, uh, just says because we all have so much time. Yeah, right. Brady says just started the advent calendar countdown. I know. Oh, this year was the first year I didn't get one for Bradley. Jason and Sandy got them for the kids, and I didn't get them. But usually I get one for uh, Bradley every year. I, I've been following Adele's uh, daughter and, and her older daughters, but the little two-year-old's got a bluey one, and that's the one Lucy got. And Adele got the uh, alcohol. I don't know if Adele's here. I haven't seen her in the chat, but she got the uh, alcohol one, <laughs> the grown-up advent calendar. 
All right, so two boxes of cream cheese, 16 ounces total. Uh, we did one egg, mixed that in. We're putting the second egg in, and then it's going to be some vanilla. I don't know how much. I won't lie, man. This chat's going fast these days. <laughs> too much There's 105 I told you, here. that's why I roll up, and then you get all mad at me. All right. You need to go to the bottom. Yeah, I, I gotta take like a minute. Uh, Shannon says, we have three cats under the age of three. No tree for us, unfortunately. Yeah, um, Wilton in real life posted that she got an actual tree, and I said, you are way braver than us, because I just don't want to deal with that at all. Uh, Kaiju Boy says, don't think I've missed one vlog from you guys. I do miss the phone-in dantics, though, for the stories. Yeah, um, we were doing them for a little bit there, and it's... I feel like the last few months, like, we took, what, August off? And then I feel like after that, it's just been a blur. And then we started doing the Hot Wheels. Like, we have so many different kinds of shows, it's hard to fit everything in. Um, Here, I'll tell you, I got scared to do them. They're like, the flow of the 2.0 was so good, and towards the end of the regular Dantix call-in show, it was just dying out. And we, we did have way so, fewer people calling in, and we had to shorten uh, the show to try to, like, not drag it out since more people were calling. When everybody was home for the pandemic, it was great. Everybody was calling in. I'm afraid that we got so many more people, like double since we've done one, that nobody's going to like it. But that's... No, 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 no. That, that's wrong. Scratch that. Um, I want. I don't want it to be a slow, dull show, even though I thoroughly enjoyed not knowing who was going to call next. Not knowing... Remember when that person was like showed up and started cussing and swearing one time? A couple times. One person just shouted Online. the N-word a whole bunch oh and gosh. I was scrambling to try right. to hang up on him. Right, right. Like, so, we don't see that coming. I like that it's like madness um but then like i got comfortable not having to do that and i should like it, and it is nice do that again with the 2.0 so, so many more people are comfortable playing it is but at some point because what's gonna happen is i'm gonna have a call-in show we're gonna have 10 people call in that's fine they'll call in twice and 95 of you are gonna sit on the couch and, and, and watch and not be able to play. And, and talk in the chat about how you're too nervous to call And it. I feel like that's going to be boring for you. But I miss talking to Chris. I miss talking to Brittany. I miss... My gosh, remember when, like, Mueller would call in and we'd be like, Honk the horn! Yes. And, and, and Brittany, too, because Brittany was Brittany doing security at the time. Uh, the dude was in the airplane calling in. Yes. Flying in the airplane. He was driving the airplane and he called the antics. I miss that. But I don't know if we can recapture that again. I don't know. Like, it was such a pandemic perfect storm. I'm still paying for the phone number. Dan, Sarah got an ice cream advent calendar. Nobody told me that was a thing. Do you put it in your freezer or is it astronaut ice cream? I need to know more. Please post a picture. Um, Brittany wants to know if we fixed the Dantix 2.0. It was the, the stream smart because Max was working on some new stuff, uh, some of which will be shown tomorrow night. You guys are not going to want to miss tomorrow night's yes. Dantix 2.0. Um, but yes, the, the setting that had been inadvertently set that made the scoring go backwards, if you guys missed it, it was pretty entertaining yes. and anxiety-inducing. I had a, uh, a video chat call with Max uh, today. Um, he says hi, everybody, by the way. He said that he was cracked up so hard when he went back and watched the episode. <laughs> and he was just like, oh my gosh, how did you guys not lose your minds? I'm like, man, we've been doing this Did first. you tell him I was losing my mind? I, I, said, I said, Crystal was losing her mind a little bit. She's like, you guys seem so calm. I was like, oh, we're 40 years in. We've had way worse technical difficulties. Yeah, we've had the computer shut that. off. We've had to shut <laughs> off. We've had Skype not work. We've Oh, yeah, we've had to shut down shows. We used to have a, a, a kill screen where we'd go to the screen and be technical difficulties. And it would, it would play all day. Antics episodes, so yes, but Max I'm amused high. that he went back and watched it. He did, he, was, he did go back and watch it, but it was pretty entertaining. There's new upgrades, new features as we're rolling this out to bigger companies. There's new upgrades to our software, so we will have a we were supposed to do Hot Wheels tomorrow, but we're gonna have a Dantix. Two that point, was never announced, you didn't have to talk about mm, that. 2.10 <laughs> show tomorrow, okay? Time so, out, yes. Um, mm. so we made this. Cream cheese, sugar, vanilla, eggs. We're gonna dump this over our warm crust, and then I'm gonna finish mm. chopping the apples. You can keep talking now. This is visual. <sighs> <laughs> no, you're done talking. <laughs> uh, but that's it. But we gotta at least do. We gotta at least do something. It's been like a year, so I should. I should do that. I have the box of over three. Look, if you guys don't know, we have three at least three thousand questions that are printed out on fortune cookie size. Uh, uh, sheets that I that I boxes. hunted down, typed up, put in a spreadsheet, printed out. I used to go every week and find new questions until finally 
uh, one week I was like, man, I can't do this again. And you were like, let's just reuse questions. So we went and mixed them all up in a box. Oh and that's gosh. when we finally started reusing questions. We, From the start, it was new questions every week. I'd try to get, we would try to do the math on how many people called and how many questions I would write down like tally marks. For the number of questions, so I can yes, get an idea and, of the average questions asked. On a Dantix 2.0 show, we do 40 questions. Yes. We were doing over 150 questions every episode. Yeah, we were doing like the two questions. plus hour episodes. Ah! It was a is, lot of work. Imagine coming up with 150 questions every week. We did that for three, and two, look, two years? I have pretty much found all the questions We've on the internet at this point. all the questions. Um, I think I talked about it all. before that Jason subscribes to daily Snapple Real Facts, and he mm-hmm. sends them to me, and at least 75% of them, I'm like, that's a Dantix question. Like, I know all the things now. Uh, they do trivia night at the brewery, and I'm like, I can nail trivia night. <laughs> I, I could do that. I know all the trivia. We could probably do pretty good. Pretty good at that. Jeopardy these days. Uh, uh, so we would sit around. You'd cut them all up, and we'd sit there. You know, and we would just fold them up and put them in a box. Fold them up, put them in a box. Then we one time we tried to do like um, the the first Christmas episode. I had a real Christmas tree next to me. Oh yes. Uh, I shoved the stocking in there and put Christmas <laughs> questions in there. So I was pulling them from the real tree. Remember when we pulled it out the next year and we found your socks still shoved it was in still it because we had to there. fill the bottom yes. so the questions would be so, higher? So, oh, those were such fun times that you just you just can't capture that. You, you just can't recapture really that. Uh, so we had to dig through the box of 3,000 questions, I think, to pull out like Christmas questions and stuff to try to I think the first them up. Christmas I found... The I I found new Christmas questions. Yeah, it was every holiday I would find new themed questions. Now, like a lot of when we do Dantix 2.0, a lot of it I will go through the I, I have a, a Google Docs yeah, called Trivia have, Master List. We have a spreadsheet of all um, those questions that has answers. a hard time loading because there's so many questions yeah. on it. But I will scroll through there and like one question will catch my eye. And I'll be like, oh, that's a good topic. Like, I found a Harry Potter question. I was like, I could do Harry Potter. So then I searched through the the document for Harry Potter-themed questions. Um, and then if I don't have enough, I'll go, like, search for new questions. But I use a lot of what's there because there's so freaking many. Uh, Brittany, yes, we used a pumpkin for questions. That's Oh, did we? Yes. Did we really? Yes, you put the questions in a pumpkin one time. Brittany remembers everything. <gasps> oh, okay. I put it in a plastic thing in the pumpkin. Yes, and it pulled but it, out it was there. inside the pumpkin. Did the pumpkin Was it the Dan up? pumpkin? Was it the Dan head one? I think it was when I was carved, oh, it when was. I carved it was the Dan the head pumpkin. into the pumpkin. That's right. It was the Dan that head That was pumpkin. the first year of uh, Guinea Baker Crystal, wasn't it? And I went and left the show to go to Walmart and buy a Dremel because I had a Dremel that I got from my dad's garage. Well, my mom's garage that my dad had before he passed. And the Dremel, like, didn't work. <laughs> so I had to go buy us a brand new Dremel that uh, we've used once since. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Those were, look, we, it was the, it was the funnest time. Every, we had no idea what we were doing. Every week was a new gimmick. One time we, we had to make the shows, like, two hours because they were going three, four hours. We yes. were doing them, like, every other day because the pandemic just started. And we were doing them, like, on Wednesdays and Fridays and, like, we were just going and going, and then, you know, oh, man. We were just trying to keep people entertained while everybody was stuck at home. It That's was, right. It Dan was broke the, the Dremel. I broke the original Dremel. Is that what happened? Yeah. We broke, no, I we, love that you guys remember the things. I, I don't remember that, but now I do. We, we couldn't get the, the chuck loose. Yes. That's right. Uh, Nikki said she had a super right. I know, but we're, we're, we'll get there we're in a second. We're reminiscing. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, uh, yeah. We. It was a perfect storm of Dan always wanted to do that type of thing. Yeah. You started it two months before... Started in like the end of January. January. We started on Terry's it was, it was, birthday. Yeah, it was mid January. It was Terry's uh, while I was out of town, it was like two months before the pandemic. I came home and was like, no, 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 you can't do it like that. If you guys saw that uh, <laughs> episode zero of Dantix, it was Dan on his phone scrambling to find questions. And I watched it. Terry and I watched it from uh, Arizona when I was visiting mm-hmm. her. And I said, no, 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 you have to come prepared. You have to have questions. We it's need to still do up there. This. I think I made it go public again. I think the original one was up there so yes and we it, had talked about it but i'm very much crazy. like everything has to be figured out and perfect before we can do it and dan's yeah. very much like let's just do it and figure it out and so he did it and figured it out and then i was able to see like here's the things we need to correct and and we did and it, it, evolved, it evolved actually by week one like it was me standing there with beer something around my head and i was just standing there right the next week so bad. was almost complete you we had, had your background. Had the you, background. You had a suit jacket. I had a suit jacket that I went to the Goodwill to get. 
uh, and uh, we bought green screen poster, like we just bought poster board and, and taped it up. Like we just did it, and then it was ninety percent. I had the vision in my head right away. It was ninety percent Dantix. I think we took day. like a couple few Dude. weeks to to. Ma- uh, nail it down. Our buddy Jim Johnson would call shenanigans on the question pulling. So the next week, I had a camera on the daily cup. Yes, Look, and you would watch me pull questions from the cup. Where is my cup? My yes, cup uh, he I, and I'm sure he was screwing around, but he accused us of like cherry picking questions, and so we we kept the questions on camera for the longest time so people could see it was completely random. There was just a bunch of questions. In a bucket, and yes. Dan was pulling him out. That's our buddy Jim. I talked to Jim Johnson almost every every day. He's he's him and I became buddies. There's the Danley Cup. You guys remember that? Who's here? Whose name? Whose name is here? Are you? Let me know. Let me know in the chat if you made the Danley Cup. So if you won, you got your name on my third place. <laughs> my third place travel hockey coho cup. On a piece oh, of masking tape. On a piece of masking tape. That I would scramble to write it as soon as the show ended. Yep, there's two sides of there's two sides of this thing. It was so I would pull the questions out of the Danley Cup. Oh my gosh. What's there, in the Danley Cup now? There's a question on the bottom! What's the question? There's Ask question it and see who can answer it. There's a question on the bottom of the Danley Cup. And oh by the way. These little pieces of paper all over our house. Everywhere. One time there was one in the driveway. All right, are you ready? <laughs> all right, fastest finger. Who could answer an original Dantix question? All right, here, and it was always this gimmick. Question number one. <laughs> you gotta have the Dantix voice. Question number one. Who was the first winner of the Masked Singer? Well, who even knows that? You couldn't, I, there was no A, B, C, or D, or nope. anything like that. And the person on the phone would Can say the answer? Yeah. Sarah says, I'm on the Danley Cup. Sarah says she also kicked down for that, uh, she also kicked down for that, uh, Dremel tool. So thank you so much. <laughs> and the pad you're standing on now. Yes, uh, I am standing on my fatigue mat right now. Hannah, right on brand, got it right first. Of course uh, with, uh, T-Pain. Do I had a Hall of Champions, you'd get your name in there, and if you won more than once, you'd get little trophies by it. It was crazy. Mouse Queen won, like, 17 times? I think more than oh that. My God. I think I, she hit 20, didn't I she? I love her. Nowhere did I ever think it would be so competitive. They took it so serious. Oh, it's so great. Good stuff. It was a good time. It's still, yeah. It was. But it's evolved. And you can see, like, how much harder that is. Like, trying to pull the random answer out of your head versus multiple cho- choice where you have a 25% chance of getting it right. You were on the spot. Your voice was on the air. You'd get an X if you got it wrong. You could only get one wrong. So you could get one wrong. Oh, it was good. You'll have, you have to go and watch some of the older stuff. It was very, how would I call it, without being, like, patting myself on the back, it was very pure. Oh, Amanda, it missed just, opportunity. It Amanda, just happened. Amanda and Chris came to our house last, was it last year? Yeah. I wish I would have gotten a picture with the Danley Cup when we visited. Missed opportunity. I'm hey, sorry. Just sitting right Next there Next time you're in the area. Yeah. All right, I'm about to be loud if you guys want to turn I almost down. tossed that trophy, too. We you, lost. you did throw away a lot of your trophies back in the day. It's just we lost by one goal, and it kicked us out. Some mathematical tournament thing kicked us out to third place. It was going to be you either won and got first or lost and got third. It made no sense. Oh, I got kicked out of this game. It Christine was, says, I held the most right questions at 28 for a long yes. time. Months. It was 90s night, wasn't it? it? 90s or 80s night. Yeah, it was 90s night, maybe. We had Simpsons night. We, we did. Like, we would theme out the episodes. Oh, uh, yeah. We'd theme out the backgrounds. Uh, <laughs> Di so pointing fun. out that she kissed the cup. <laughs> Di did. Di, I love you. Di, Di, my friend Di. Oh, my gosh. I, I almost got a dole whip in your honor, but it was so cold yesterday at Disneyland. Uh, could you send me your address, please? I got something to send you. That was so fun. That was, it was, it was fun, but it was just like, I don't know, of the time. It was of the time, but I felt like if you were there, it was... It was. Uh, she says it was great. 80s night, not 90s. It was 80s night, yeah. I knew it was a, a decade one. Yeah. It, it was, yeah. Oh, it was good. I forgot. We, we did so many gimmicks that I don't even re- I don't even remember. We had a mullet episode where I had the big mullet and just the mohawk in the front. We did the green screen episode where I just wanted it to be a head. <laughs> and I put my, head. <laughs> I was like, it was like five minutes before we started. I was like, what if I put my green shirt on and flip it around? And I just did it. I was a floating head. <laughs> That, oh my gosh! You were way more amused by that than anybody else was, but it was nobody great. cared. But <laughs> nobody cared. Nobody cared but me. Nobody All right, Sarah, cared. I will go approve that and uh, Nikki's yes. in a minute. Um, wait. I, I was. Oh, oh, there we go. 
<laughs> Dan remembered your super chat, Nikki. Uh, Nikki with the super chat again. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the support, friend. And uh, after I'm done and the cheesecake is in the oven, I will go prove things and we'll show things. Uh, she says the shenanigans, Last Antics 2.0, were almost as entertaining as Chris G. I keep, every time I talk to Chris, I tell Chris, I tell Chris, like, you, you come host an episode. You need to start your own show. You need to do something. You need a gimmick. You need a gimmick because your wit is just smeared all over our page. But it's gone no further. I think you need your own thing. Uh, My Last Weekend Adventure says, Not sure when I started watching you guys, but what I do know is this is either the third or fourth year bringing in New Year's with you guys. Yes, if you guys have not been here for it, we host a super uh, long live stream. You want to bring up the calendar? Do you you were that? here for almost the beginning. You were here for, you've been here for majority of it for sure. Also, um, also, Nikki, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Um, anyway, if you guys have not been here for it yet, we start at 6 p.m., just like always. Um, and we go all the way until midnight our time. We do six full hours. We do all kinds of different things. Is this it? Uh, we need to plan out our schedule for this year. That's one of the 50 million things we need to do before Christmas. Um, but yeah, we do. We'll, we'll bake some stuff. We'll probably play some games. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do. But yeah, that is on New Year's Eve. We will be here for six whole hours. Uh, tomorrow, Dantix 2.0, something all new. So you guys aren't going to want to miss it. It's it's still the same Dantix 2.0 you know and love, but with a new aspect I think yeah, you guys are really going to like. Just a different way to play. Yes. Uh, next week we are at Novi, so there are no shows after tomorrow until the 15th. Yeah. The weekend of the 15th is my super baking weekend. If you guys have not uh, been here for it, I bake a bajillion million cookies so I can package them all up and send them all over the country, but not the world because shipping is horrendous. Um... So I will be doing that. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do on the actual show. I usually pick one or two recipes and show you guys the recipes and uh, then continue on the whole rest of the weekend. But that night we are also doing entries. Uh, we usually do it on Dantix, but that night, because of the timing of everything and how this month is going, we're going to do entries to win one of my cookie packages on the episode of Getting Baked with Crystal. Every super chat will get you an entry. And then at the end of the show, we will draw a name. You don't have to be present to, to win. You just have to have been there and made a super chat at some point during the episode. And whoever's name gets drawn, I will mail you a package of cookies. So, you know, don't enter if you have allergies and stuff because I don't, you know, cater to that because I don't have any allergies. And uh, we also have cats. So there might be love in your cookies. <laughs> uh, but Hannah and uh, I think Brittany and who else? Who else has gotten them? Uh, anyway, they can Cyber attest to the husky. fact that they are uh, delicious cookies, and you should enter and win and love them. And then, let's see. Uh, we have Hot Wheels scheduled the next day, but I'm not sure what's going to happen. We we were working on some things. There may be some changes to this month's calendar. Hannah says, you want Christmas cookies. Trust me. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, see, she has spoken. So something will happen on the 16th, but we're not 100% sure of what that is going to be. Uh, the 20th? We're doing Mario Kart, and then no show on the 22nd, because I am not... You know what? Maybe we'll do Hot Wheels that night? If what? we end up changing the Hot Wheels from the 16th? We'll see, guys. There may be some changes. Yeah, because the next night's our... Uh, um, the 23rd Christmas. is our Christmas episode. We have uh, lots of fun planned for that one. Uh, does it cost to enter that cookie giveaway? Yes, you have to super chat. Um, there, there has to be, you know, something. Some, it, it, it don't matter. It could be like ninety nine cent. It does. Yeah. It does. There's no limit. On it super doesn't chat. have to be a ten dollar super chat it, or anything. Yeah, because I can't put like there's one hundred and three people here now. I can't like do that because what you do is you, you'll get like an ornament. Uh, you'll get an ornament that's like cut out with your name on it, and it usually goes like in the background and stuff like that. You'll have to check out some of our old episodes. <laughs> one year, guys. I dressed up as a Christmas tree. <laughs> my, my feet and present boxes. I was completely wrapped that in a Christmas so tree. And when you guys super chatted, the ornaments were hung on me. On the Dan. And you, you can't beat that. That would peak. Next year, we put them on the mantle. So you'll get your name, like, you'll see your name there. Yes, and then, uh, oh. And then we put them in the bowl, and then we don't pick Shannon. Oh, we pick Shannon, <laughs> and we put it back, and then we pick someone else. Terrible. You still need to send me um, your address so I can get you something. Uh, Warrior Cast says, wish Hot Wheels was more often. The, you know, the end of the year since we took August off, the, like, the rest of the oh. year since August has been kind of weird. We're going to try to... Um, you know, that's part of what we have to plan out this month is what's going to happen next year and how we're going to plan and schedule shows. I have already said the words out loud that I want to do more Hot Wheels. Yes. More often. I want some sort of concurrent thing going on where, where it happens. Gosh, I want to say weekly, but I, I don't know if I can commit the weekly, but I do want more Hot Wheels more. We will do like at least two a month. More I often. I do. I, I do want to increase 
uh, the Hot Wheels. It does take a long time to set up for the Hot Wheels, all, like all day, but I'm getting better at it and more efficient. And if I could, if I could, uh, if I could get even more efficient at it and, and, and better at it, um, uh, then we can do it more m more often. Okay, time out. I have to do my stuff and my things. Okay, so four cups of apples. It's a lot of apples and like half of them are already browning. It's okay, they're gonna go in the oven. Yes, a paint night would be amazing. Paint night will happen next, next year. Yes. Um, are you doing a card exchange? Yes. We are doing a yes. card exchange. We, we, will, we will get to that too. We, uh, this is almost going to go in the oven and then we'll get into yes. to more things. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll get to it. And I know okay. it's already getting late for you East Coaster, so just, just, just hang tight for we're, a few minutes. We're almost in the oven. This yes. is like second to last step. Okay, so two tablespoons of sugar. Oh, I said I put the Dole Whip chain, keychain on the tree today. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Dole Whip die. Oh, Dole Whip die. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. We might need a little bit more than that. That's just a suggestion. Uh, Linda Roberts with the super chat. Thank you Hi, so Linda. much. We have your box. We will be opening that once this goes into the oven. Yes. Uh, you guys are always entertaining. Love the shenanigans. Oh, thank you so much. I love the word shenanigans. And thank you. Appreciate it. I do. I'm, I'm okay with shenanigans. I'm okay with that. Thank you so it's much. It's always for the super a good chat. time. Shenanigans are always entertaining. Mm -hmm. And a quarter teaspoon of Beep. nutmeg. Oh, I have to wash it because I only have one quarter teaspoon because the other one went down the garbage disposal. <laughs> Shannon sent me your address. How many times have I said send me your address and her address is in here? Oh my gosh. It's written. Shannon. Hold on. <laughs> it is written. I'll cover your last name. It is written on my... It is written. Better cover on, her address too. It's just my thumb. Oh, you can't see, but there is your name with a big like bubble thing around it. Uh, Look, blackboard. we have good intentions, uh, to, friend. To do, to we'll get, you we'll get to you, I promise. Um, it's almost time for us to like ship out a bunch uh, of stuff and yeah. make lots of mail trips. So. I order stuff that will be here like the week after no buy, so I will send you. I will. Uh, I will send you some. Okay, and our our tablespoon, oh, teaspoon, teaspoon. Good. Are we live on the twentieth? Yes, 20th is Mario Kart. Okay, yeah, 20th is the Mario Kart. That's a Wednesday, yeah? Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. All right, and a teaspoon of lemon juice. We're going to stir this all up. <coughs> Are you done with the pizza? Yeah, I don't think I need any more pizza. Sure? I ate like five pieces over three days. Oh my gosh. If not, I'm going to like cook one up. Go for it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do just a little bit more lemon juice and a little bit more cinnamon. Uh, Afriel says, in a pinch, orange juice works too. I never have orange juice. <laughs> we don't really drink orange juice. We were like so animated and energetic, and then I I just stopped the whole. No, thing. it's fine. We, we're all over the place right now. Oh yeah, and there's still more to come. Yes, I need to get this in the oven because I have to pee so bad, but I don't want to stop because there's so much to do. That's gonna be the story of my month. I have to pee, but I can't stop to pee. All right, these are pretty well coated. It's very nutmeggy. All right, we're gonna take our. This is our crust and our. <laughs> Sugar all over the counter. And our cream cheese layer. And where am I? Spoon apple mixture evenly over the cheesecake filling. Sure. By spoon, they mean grab it with your hands and pour it on. You see why this toaster ever gives me so much anxiety? Because <laughs> it sounds like operation. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in Danger Mouse and it's going to blow up, yeah. Just spoon with your hands, guys. Spoon with your hands. Oh, yeah, hold on. Where's your spoon with the hand cam? What am I doing? Nobody knows. We have cat cam soon, too. They're, uh, they're over there taking a bath. <laughs> the twins. Yeah, the twins they're... that aren't so twinny anymore because one's twice the size of the other one? No, I woke up at like three this morning. I'm like, what are they doing out here? So I get up, I come out here, 
and I turn on the flashlight on my phone. I have like my nightgown on, <laughs> and I'm standing like this. And I'm, I have it on, and I turn the light on, and sure enough, both of them are sitting there. Looking with, at you like they weren't doing uh, anything, Yeah, huh? they got, like, the 3D slug that was up on the nightstand. Dude, the little slug, and they were, like, flat, they were, like, hitting it. Yeah, so. Like, oh. But they, they're they always hanging out together. They are. Baxter's are super cuddly today. Before the show, I sat down for, like, five minutes, and he came running over to me and was snuggling. <laughs> he likes to be pet hard so he can feel it, which is kind of my favorite thing about big boy cats. Yes, Linda, um, I will mark the Hot Wheel cars down. Your box is right here. You're probably ready for bed. But we're, we're almost there. I have one more layer to go on top of this. Mm -hmm. I might add a little too much of that lemon juice. It's all at the bottom. <laughs> Just too eating up the cinnamon. Too much juice. Too much juice. No, I did not have my sleep cap on. <laughs> I didn't want to mess up his hair. It's a lot of apples. I love it. It is a lot of apples. Is this like the record, like mended amount? It said of four apples? cups. Oh. It said about three apples. Um, it took me four apples. Fantastic. I am gonna sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon on top of that, just because a lot of the cinnamon is still in the bowl mixed with the lemon juice. Come on, cinnamon, would you? Uh, Shannon says it's crazy the size difference in cats. Evie's only seven months old and almost twice the size of soap, and she's a year old now. Yeah, the twins, obviously the same age, and Baxter's almost twice the size. Yeah, they grow fast. Uh, Hannah says, you know how I say Little Bit's going to be a big cat while her siblings hang out outside our house, and she's still the smallest. Interesting. Ah, uh, Adele is here. I was talking about you earlier and your daughter's uh, bluey advent calendar that's the same one that my niece got. And since Jason... Isn't, well, you're actually from the future, so you've already opened them. Uh, Jason hasn't posted any pictures or sent me anything yet, so I just uh, live vicariously through you, assuming you guys have the same bluey calendar in Australia. So this Sally is, says that's looking good. This is about to go in, and then we're free? It has a streusel layer. I have to combine all the ingredients in a medium-sized bowl with a fork or my fingers. This recipe says I can use my fingers. <laughs> have you met me? I'm going to use my fingers. Until crumbly and sprinkle over the top. Okay, so... Oh, it's butter though. I can't really do butter very well in it. I'll have to start with a fork and then I'll move on to my fingers. Uh, Adele says I'm late and probably missed the whole show. I went to the Christmas craft markets, but t thought I should come say hi. No worries, friend. You only missed uh, the first three steps and some reminiscing about old uh, old shows and and things that happened. Uh, I have one last layer to put on here, the streusel layer, and then this will go in the oven. And then we have a box from Linda in the UK and Linda in the America, and we're going to open uh, those two boxes. So we'll, we'll be here a bit longer. It's only 7.30. This has to go in the oven for half an hour. We will not be tasting this tonight because it's a cheesecake. It's going to have to cool the room temperature and then go in the fridge overnight, which I know disappoints Dan. He always wants to uh, put it in his mouth tonight, but... Not happening. So, in addition to the fact that Dantix 2.0 tomorrow is uh, going to have an all-new feature. 2.10. 2.10? I don't like 2.10. Well, we're... 2 we've upgraded... Well, we have a... 2.01? <laughs> all right. So... Oh. What you... Nothing. I'm going to set that back there because I want to mix my dry ingredients first. So, it's going to be a whole cup of... Don't burn yourself. Man, it's hot. It came out of the toaster. Well, I just have more skills with the air fryer than this. <laughs> oh. Likely story. I see you burn yourself on that, too. All right. We're doing a whole cup of brown sugar. It should be Dantix 3.0 by now. We are not there yet. Um, yeah, we're not there. This is just a little tweak on things. Um, a, a new feature has That's been added. That's not how increments work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a completely different, like, Dantix was, was the call-in. Uh, the answer in the chat is a completely different take on the same show, so that's why I got a 2.0. This is just a tweak on the 2.0 version. Uh, Brittany reminding you, don't forget to add toast as a topping, Dan. He's making pizza, not toast, but damn, you never let anything slide, huh? Uh -huh. Or your cat says, my cats are siblings and one is 12 pounds and brother is 17. We, when we first got him back, he was 20. 
Yeah, Baxter's going to be a big boy. He's only a year old, and he's... Um, I think about Topo when Topo got here, and he was, like, big framed but not filled out. And he was about the same age. Baxter's a little over a year now, about a year and a month or so. Just look at this fool. Or a year and t three, three months, maybe? Yeah, he's big. They're much easier to tell apart, not just by their size, their behavior. Like, the way they act as you're walking toward them or walking by them, you can tell who's who a lot better. I'm just squishing this because, as I mentioned earlier, my brown sugar has, like, semi-hard clumps in it that I have to get out. Because apparently there's a brown sugar clump pandemic going on lately. And it doesn't matter where I buy it or what brand I get, they've all got clumps in them. I mean, it's brand new. It's soft brown sugar. It's ridiculous. Everyone else says, the cops just flew past my window. I'm used to hearing that in your neighborhood. Are you, are you sure it wasn't my yeah, neighborhood? quiet night today. It is. Although we usually tune it out and don't really pay attention to it. <laughs> Bax has a big head. Yes. Dan always calls him thick neck. He's just solid. Yeah, That's a I, big boy. When I pet him, he's got those neck muscles of like a feral outside cat almost. And he, like, he doesn't know he's that big, so he tries to come no. lay in my lap and he can't settle because he can't, like, find a good position he wants to be in because he's just too damn big. We're learning, though. He's learning how to be a snuggly little lap cat. He's a softie. He is. On his terms, when he's ready. All our cats are pretty softies. They've all learned from the other cats. They, there's a there's a cat, uh, there's a cat, like, uh, finishing school here, ecosystem, a cat. There's rules, and all, you know, throwing a new cat, and you're, they're going to learn the rules. So the rules have turned to really chill. Yes, all the cats are And there's are chill really chat, chill. kill chat. <laughs> chill cat, chill cat, chill cat. Chill cat. Yeah, all chill cat, pretty much, except for Mooch. The warrior cat says, my parents still can't tell which cat is who until super close, but I can mm -hmm. see from afar who is who. We also have bells to help prevent killing prey. Uh, they stay inside, and I hate bells, so we don't do bells. Like, if anything comes with a bell, I pry it off of there. Uh, every once in a while, though, we'll be like, even today on the bed, uh, one of them was on the bed, and I'm like, Dan said something about he, but you were talking about something else, and I'm like, wait, is that Baxter? No, that's Roxy. But, like, it's sometimes still confusing. Okay, so we've got a cup of uh, brown sugar packed. I put that in there first so I can break up the bits. Then we've got uh, a half a cup of quick oats. And I'm using quarter cups because my half cups are dirty. And then we're going to do a cup of flour. If you're just joining us, um, happy Friday night. Crystal, what are we making? We are making caramel apple cheesecake bars. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for these, and I don't even get to eat them until tomorrow. They're supposed to look like this. That's all right. We'll, uh, we'll test them tomorrow. On and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Whoa, calm down. Do you want a bite of pizza? Um, I don't not want a bite of pizza. <laughs> How long until you're done with this step? I don't know. I have to mash the butter in. You know it's going to need more cinnamon. I'm glad I picked this up at the store. <laughs> All the cinnamon. Yeah, good enough. It's just a suggestion. Here, catch. Thanks. All right. I'm going to mix this up. The topping looks like apple crumble pie. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a streusely and brown sugary and oaty. I like it when oats are in a topping. It makes me happy. It gives an extra, like, texture to it that you don't get otherwise. Like, even when stuff turns out a little bit crispy on top, it's just different when there's oats in it. God, I have to be so bad. Here, why don't you let me mix this one? Nope, nope. I'm going to hold it. I am a master at holding why it. Why don't you take it with you? Yeah, and stir it on the toilet? That's yeah. disgusting, Dan. I mean... That's disgusting. Sitting on the toilet. Now stir. Nope. 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 Absolutely not. All right. Stick of butter. Oh, gosh. That's not going to work. Why don't you just go and come right back in a second? I'll entertain for like 30. Look at it. Pause all right, point. All right. Pause point. Hello, my friends. Again, if you're just getting here, look, I'm going over some of this stuff. There's a new RFS. Uh, nope, that's not it. There's a new RFS members of vlog. There's Crystal trying to eat Wiggum's donut. And uh, look it. It's it's our fearless leader Jess holding up 
doing her take five goals, holding up the food. I was so worried she was going to drop it. So you can go see this video now. It's over 30 minutes old. What other stuff do I have here? I have other things. Oh, there's the calendar. And there's the... Oh, my gosh. There's our holiday card exchange that we'll talk about in a little bit. Oh, Crystal's back. I have to wash my hands on camera because I don't want to be accused of Yeah, not Christine's here. Hands. You got to do it. Christine's here. <laughs> Uh, Helen is here with the super chat with my favorite sexy Hi, pair. Hi, Helen. I hope you are well. We're, uh, we're having some fun here. We're almost done with tonight's recipe, uh, the making part of things. And then uh, it'll go in the oven and we'll open some packages. Uh, Miles from Convention says, I have issues eating apples, so I wonder if I... I think you mean pureed. Is that... Yeah? The apples and then mixed it into the cheesecake part. I don't know because I don't know what that would do texturally. It might make it like too liquidy and then the cheesecake part wouldn't set. I would be concerned about that. Thank you for the super chat, Helen. I'm trying to think of like what else you could do. Cause I certainly would not use four cups and stir that in. That would definitely be like, it would become applesauce. So you're basically adding another liquid to the cheesecake and it's never gonna set. I don't know what you could do. Maybe make a different kind of cheesecake. <laughs> different kind of cheesecake bar with a different fruit altogether. Are there other fruits you're okay with? And would you be okay? So when I make apple like coffee cake and stuff, one time I made an apple coffee cake and I was not happy with the coffee cake itself, but what it had us do was to take the apples and cook them on the stove with some butter and cinnamon and sugar, which made them really soft. So if the, the texture is an issue, I don't know. Did you say it just might not be a better way. Them. This looks horribly inefficient. Is the butter just like... This is, is what is you... The, I have a, a, is it a down? pastry cutter. Yeah. I have a pastry cutter, but I hate using that thing. Once I get it in here enough, I'll just use my hands. But right now, the butter pieces are too thick, and it's just going to get all over my hands. So I have to wait to get more of the uh, uh, dry mix into it. Thanks, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> if apples are soft, I can eat them. Could you afford your own pizza guy where I just show up and I stand here and I just hold the pizza? You fire me because I hold it like two inches too high. <laughs> like, you're like, no! Use gloves. I do have a lot of gloves in here. I, I never use gloves. gloves. You I just wash my hands. Didn't you see me? You don't have anything good to say until you're done with this. Take another bite. Oh, my gosh, I'm about the apples. Oof, oof, oof. Like the Swedish <laughs> chef. <laughs> you like the <laughs> Swedish chef. You made me drool. <laughs> he drooled too. You guys are fit for each other. <laughs> so anyway, I did not like that recipe for the apple coffee cake, like the cake itself, but I loved what it did to the apples. So I found a different recipe for an apple coffee cake that I liked, and I made it as the recipe said. But I didn't like the apples because they were just unflavored apples. So I started doing that, like cooking the apples like that. TLDR. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Perfecto39 says, hi guys, hello, happy Friday night. This is what I'm doing. I don't need any more pizza. Uh, Helen says, wow, my dad has a blue mohawk. Yes, thank you so much. That blue mohawk indicates that you've been giving me money for 36 months. Um, actually... You've been giving me more allowance, probably, am I right, than you gave your kids <laughs> every week. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, the blue mohawk will go on your credit report as you can pay it <laughs> nicely every month. So I do appreciate that. <laughs> Bjorn Beck says, oh, Dan, servant, another bite, if you please. Uh, yes. <laughs> if you'd like, next time I get to see you, we'll go to Bucky's and I'll Dan servant you. So anyway, my last week at Adventures. Um, <laughs> you could... Uh, cook the apples like that. So when I make the other coffee cake, I don't like the apples because they're uncooked and they're just like crunchy in there. And I thought about doing that for this, but as always, I make the recipe as it's written to see what happens. Um, but every time I make the apple coffee cake, I cook the apples first, even though that recipe doesn't call for it. And I even cook the apples to put them on top of pancakes when we do pancakes. That's one of my favorite toppings. I just chop up an apple or two. And then I think it's uh, two apples a tablespoon or two of butter. Oh, I don't remember off the top of my head. I, sometimes I can do it and just make it without checking the recipe. But um, yeah, then 
sugar and, and cinnamon, and then the apples get soft. You just cook them long enough till they get like softer and squishier. And I bet you could do that and put that on top of this. Is this where we tell Crystal Dan took a bite and then offered it to her to bite? Oh, I'm not afraid. You, you know, sometimes I, I put my mouth on his and we smooch. Whoa, there's a phrasing like that. Not, not really on camera much, but... Like, I don't like that <laughs> phrasing at all. <laughs> Uh, Brittany wants to know if the blue mohawk gives a tax break. Oh, oh here, I'll tell you something. So I was at Disneyland, and I had an RFS Dan pin um, in, my, in my fanny pack. Is there a cooler name for that? No. no. Screw it. It's in my fanny pack, It's a right? fanny pack. It doesn't get and, cool. Because, like, I brought one for Chase, uh, and so I had another one in there, you know, and that I there's pin traders all over the inside the shops where there's like a little old lady that sits next to this little like pin thing and if you have a Disneyland pin you can put it there and take somebody else's pin and trade and there was a cool one that was like a cupcake in like goofy colors and I was too afraid to ask Estelle Getty <laughs> if I could take my damn pin and trade it. I think it had to be a Disney pin but I'm not sure. Probably. One of them was really cool. One of them was the Disney head with the ears and it was like the France colors or I think so. It was That's like the fun. I didn't know that. Stars. I know that Disney pins are a thing. I didn't know they did like They're a trading like thing. all the shops and you'll see a bunch of pins I know on there that, that look super neat. I know that people trade them. Uh -huh. Like I see it. I get suggested all kinds of Disney stuff on Facebook and I don't want to be in Disney groups but I do see people posting like trading their pins and stuff. That's cool that they do it like on, on site. Um, so I squished this off all together till it was you know strudely topping texture and then i'm just sprinkling it on top that's all as, as small or as large as you want uh, kevin parsons is here hello friend hi kevin <laughs> and it says tmi that's like hearing your mom and dad never mind never mind i'll never forget <laughs> that uh, adele says ah oh, i know you can be fussy about that food stuff so i was not sure that that was something that bothered me. you're a snitch <laughs> you're a snitch is that what happens that is that what uh, happens down there wait, in australia i will say adele i don't eat like other people's food and i will never share salad or cereal or milk or milk. milk yes no and that probably comes from like if any who else grew up with siblings and your siblings would put their finger in your milk at the dinner what? table yep it was just a thing jason would do because he knew it would gross me in out the mashed potatoes <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I will not share milk, cereal, or salad at all, ever, not even with Dan. Um, also, when Blake was little... I never asked. Because you know I will not share I, this. I am, not, I am not that kind of leftover, leftover person. Um, it's got to be clear liquids only. When, <laughs> when I have cereal, and I pretty much exclusively eat uh, either Honey Bunches of Oats or uh, Crunch Berries, all berries, um, these days. When I have cereal, Dan does want some, but he'll take the dry cereal... And not my, uh, uh, like, spoon in the milk cereal. That's that's not a thing that I do. Not my spoon in the milk cereal. <laughs> Adele hey. says, a bit like if Ben licks my cheek, but apparently that's a thing. Because apparently that's a thing. I think it's gross, but I happily kiss him. Yeah, don't lick me. That's disgusting. We're not licking. Crystal worded it like that because her OCD cereal bowl has two levels on it. This level up high here has all the dry cereal. Then you put the milk down here, and then... She takes the spoon and she and she water parks it down so it's on the top there and then she eats it so it does not get soggy. So he makes fun of me, but this is the best gift he's ever bought me. Ever. I absolutely love it. If you hate soggy cereal, get yourself an O-Bowl. It's the best thing ever. And Brittany says, even when I was married, I did not share drinks or share food with my ex-husband. Um, not? I don't have a problem sharing yeah. sharing drinks or food. We all tried the bitter beer. We all tried the blue milk. Like Yeah, even Jess else. drank off yeah, like, like, our drink. That's okay. but like I don't want to share with like strangers. That's weird. If we're having a meal, like I'd like to have my own cup for my own back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I we're will not. say, when Blake was little, we were not like, lady in the like little three, four, five, his whole childhood, if he was done eating, Dan would just grab it up and eat it. There's no way I would ever eat anything that was on a child's plate that's disgusting. Well, it's just more of me. Kids are filthy oh. and disgusting and their fingers go in dirt and their mouth and their butt and God knows what else and there's Blake's no way. a funky eater. He's a compartment eater. It's all this. Oh. Then all this. Then all this. It's so funky. It's oh. so funky. One thing I feel like he got from me is when you eat something like nachos or something that's gonna get your hands dirty you have your food eating hand and you have your clean hand. Like, I will not dig in with both hands into nachos and neither will Blake. It's it's a, you have your food hand and your clean hand. <laughs> Afriel, what's comment of the night? <laughs> oh, what did Afriel say? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, Lord. Crystal has a slow feed bowl like Jess's bum. Shut up. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's to keep my cereal from getting soggy. <laughs> Nobody wants soggy crunch berries. <laughs> I'm never going to forget that. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of people in the chat like the bowl. Uh, Christine wants to know where it's from. I don't know. Search. Here, I'll send you a link for it. Hold on. <laughs> I, I'm crying. Hold on. I need the mouse. It's called an O bowl, like oh. the letter O and then bowl. It comes with this really weird spoon that I've never used. That, um, it reminds me of, have you guys seen the Parkinson spoon that like shakes or like has a, a wobble in it or something? I don't know. It, it's it's weird. Uh, Christine says, I love that bowl for Rice Krispies. It's great for any cereal you don't want to get soggy. Um, they also advertise it as like you put your soup in it and then your crackers up on top or something. But yeah, that, that has been... A game changer in my cereal eating game for sure I eat way more cereal because of that because I would pour the tiniest bowls of cereal and then just refill it a whole bunch so I didn't have soggy cereal and Dan found that and it's the most amazing gift I've ever received in my life ever and Brady says I got my food hand in my drink hand exactly I don't want to get nacho cheese all over my milk glass it's not happening Jess says, I like the bowl. <laughs> Do your dogs need one? <laughs> Apparently it's, yeah. Uh, what about sharing Dan's toothbrush? Absolutely not. That's disgusting. Ew, There's ew. so much mouth bacteria. There's ew. no way. Uh -uh. uh uh. You guys, one time I went to the dentist and she cleaned my teeth and she's like, all right, you're all clean. No kissing your boyfriend. And I was like, oh, new fear unlocked. Mouth bacteria. Never like occurred to me. And it took me, took me a minute to get over that one. Like, okay, Dan, it's time for you to go to the dentist now because I was told your mouth is dirty. <laughs> we didn't, we no didn't even go to the same dentist. No, could you, um, what's, how do you spell your bowl? I think it's O, bowl, the letter O, and then bowl. See, Adele gets me. <laughs> Slow feed bowls for you. Come on, guys. It's like, it, just, it just keeps it. <sighs> Adele says, Ben finishes Quinn's food all the time, too. It's gross, right? Like, I don't even care. Like, you love your kid, that's fine. You'll hug your kid. You're... Ugh. Like, little kid kisses, like, where they're all slobbery grosses me out. Like, ooh, no, gross. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't want to eat something a kid ate. And then, like, oh, they're so slobbery. Kids are slobbery and gross. Oh my god. Dai says, I went away for the weekend with my sister and discovered I had been using her toothbrush the whole time last summer. Oh, how horrified were you? That's so disgusting. Oh, I don't know if I could get over it if I found out someone was using my toothbrush or I was using theirs. Like, there's not enough toothbrushing in the world after that to make me get over that. Uh, FN says, we need an affiliate link. We're, we're getting there. I, I can't. There, I don't. I'm done. I'm over it. I can't. I, there, I don't even, I don't know if, I seen some compartmental bowls, but I don't think Old Bowl is around anymore. I see Macari selling them. It's O-B-O-W-L. O-B-O-L. Or O-B-O-L. I didn't see it, but maybe I was doing the W. I couldn't find it. I found different ones, but I, I couldn't I couldn't find it. Oh, apparently that's something in uh, Greek mythology. O B O L. They had issues back like Little Caesars pizza dude had Yeah, it's soggy five thirty nine on Walmart.com, Dan. It's not oval, it's called a wet dry separation <laughs> cereal bowl, if you noticed. But there is no Amazon for it. There's a bowl separator, but there's no water slide. There's one that looks like it, but it's called a wet dry separator bowl. So yeah. Yeah, it's not. Uh, this is this is pretty close. Okay. Yeah. I, I but I don't have a. It's not the Obol brand. Yeah. So then that's I don't know. Uh. But yeah. Um. So if you want to keep your, if your cereal that way. Okay. We need to get this. We need to get this. Into I the, know, but I'm nothing, disappointed that Obol's not a thing. There's nothing we can do for Obol and their little startup comp company. Right here. I found so. it. I found it. Oh, currently unavailable. They're not around anymore. It's, it's worse. Yeah, thing yeah. eBay's ever. got it for forty dollars, but it's a separation bowl. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I got it. Okay, three fifty. Okay. Oven's okay. still set to three fifty. Okay. This is gonna go in for thirty to thirty-five minutes until the filling is set. Okay. Oh, it's so heavy, Dan. <laughs> jokes just write themselves. Alexa. Oh my gosh. Set a thirty-minute timer. Thirty minutes starting now. Okay, before we open packages, can I show you guys something? Are you done with this? I am. This is very much in the way. Oh, is it in your right hand? Hold on, hold on. I want to show everybody something. I have a thing. Oh, we got warm. <laughs> it's because you're running around. All right, you guys, if you have an Aldi, you need to go to your Aldi. 
Lift from the bottom. Well, I gotta get under the bottom first. I went to Aldi yesterday for groceries, and sometimes you go to Aldi and the line's really long, and they make you line up down the aisle of shame to try to get you to buy things you don't really need. And then I found something I didn't really need, and then I bought it. <laughs> and then I found something I really didn't need. And it feels like I'm wearing a teddy bear, and it's so warm and snuggly. Although it, it turns me into like two times my size when I put it on, I'll probably never wear it out of the house. But you guys, it's like a women's wrap jacket something. I don't know. It's amazing. And it was $10. And look, it's this big and it's so warm. Like no air gets through it. And it's the best thing ever. And if you have an Aldi, you should go look for the $10 wrap jacket. That's all. Hey, Dan. Yes. Old lady shawl? abso freaking lootly Because I have this other old lady sweater that I wear, but it gets kind of staticky and itchy a little bit. And my mom gave it to me. Um, but this is super soft like a teddy bear. And it's so amazing. Just saying. Terry says, I love soft things. You would love this. And I already washed it. And it's still soft. It didn't, like, clump up. Afriel says, looks like a bed jacket. Oh, yeah. This is my, my house jacket. This is only for wearing in the house. I'm not going to wear this outside anywhere. And it has a hood. Oh, why are hoods always pointy on top? They shouldn't be pointy. pointy All right. Sir. Dan? Yes. Oh, now I'm really hot in this. I'm going to take, like, three minutes. <laughs> Why are you taking my jacket? That's my jacket. All right, go on right, Teamster. Ha, hello, everybody. It's it's your friendly neighborhood spider down again. I'm going ahead with the promos because this uh, this is out of control. We're at two hours, and I had a I had an eye racing date with John Carl that I'm still not going to make now. Aww. All right, here we go. Ha, ha, the holiday gift card exchange is here. Oh, my gosh. It's the holiday gift card exchange. We've done it for the last two years. This year, we're looking to set a new record for how many people are gonna send in cards. So what do you do, Dan? Um, you can mail in all your holiday cards to this address on the screen. Screenshot it. Or the address is in the description below. What you're gonna do is you're gonna send a card, any card, um, and you're gonna get- Dan, the, wait. Yeah? I didn't set a timer. Okay, there's a 27 minute timer going. Is there, did I set a timer? Yep, 27 minutes okay. left. Let me grab the cards for you. I have one over here. And yes, some of you have already sent cards. Sorry. Gotta keep this show on track. There's very much a lot of stuff going on since the last like subscriber upgrade. So we'll uh, we'll work on uh, up, up and us too. Okay, so here's the card. So this year's card is Aunt Terry's Sugar Cookies. Well, if Crystal explained it, this year's color is purple on the cards. Awesome. Still the same backing, so you will get a personalized message from Crystal. And I, I usually draw photos on there, and Crystal says something nice and stuff like that. Who has sent cards so far? Uh, Melissa. Laura, who's probably sleeping now. The Manchester family, and Linda, Dan and Linda. Have them right here. I'll be going to the post office once a week to grab the cards. They'll start getting shipped out, like, after uh, Novi and stuff will start. We'll start doing it there. Yes, thanks. Just put the link in the chat. So we do got those. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be drawing on the cards. I don't know what I'm going to do this year for it, but it'll be fun. So send away. Send your cards. Uh, yes, if you'd like to send a stamp, that's awesome. If you don't, that's not your problem, you know? So uh, you'll have to. Uh, but you can send stuff. Some people send packages. Some people send letters. Some people send photos of their pets and stuff like that. And we put them on the fridge. So, you know, you're welcome to do to do do whatever. So go ahead, send away uh, to the P.O. Box number, and, and, we'll, and we'll do that. Are the cards from last year still available too? I don't know. I have some. I have some, but I don't think I have many. So I don't know if I can offer that up. So here's... So let me, let me see what I have here. Okay, so the pumpkin roll ones, I have like one, two, two, that's it? Oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, like twenty five. Okay, so I do have. I do have some of the pumpkin roll from last year. Um, you guys can, you guys can ask if you want the, 
sugar cookies or the pumpkin rolls? So I do have some of the pumpkin rolls ones left. The first year ones, we have about 10 of them left. And that's the chewy chocolate chip. That's the chewy chocolate chip cookie. Well, that's not the right camera. So this was the first year we did the card exchange. This was last year's card exchange. And then the new one is the other cookie. So we do have some. So you can kind of request. It'll be first come, not first come, first serve, but first open up and see if you want the other cards. But if you do, maybe you can like send a stamp for those. Because now we're getting like almost to a recipe book here. Dan, is that my, your birthday card? Uh, is it? Let me see. No, I think these are all... I think... Oh my gosh, you're still awake. No, I think these were all the other cards. Um, I do have your I do have your card though. I do have it here. Anyway, so I do have some of the other cards. Uh, you should do a getting big calendar when you get enough cards done. Um, we'll do like a cook like we'll put them like into a cookbook. I'm not. Uh, we're not doing a calendar this. We are not doing the calendar this year. It is like like we don't have enough time. I ran out of time. I do have another cool Dan like merch thing coming but unfortunately it'll be here like the day i leave for novi so i don't think i'm gonna make it so when i get back for novi oh i have two of these i have two of the three pieces here but i don't want to show you any of it until it's all done terry says i'm making cards this year too oh yay make sure you send one in to us so so you already announced the card uh yeah we were talking about him a little bit i didn't talk about the the meaning of the card, the recipe. We, we, I said it was a sugar cookie. Um, some people asked maybe about last year's card. Uh, I, you know, I have like 25 of last year's and like 15 of the years before. So kind of first come open letter on that one. Send a stamp if you want more, more than one card. Yes. If you send um, a card, you will automatically get the new one for this year, which yeah. is my Aunt Terry's sugar cookie recipe. If you guys remember, if you've been here yeah, for a while. We'll talk about My we'll Aunt Terry made that. a cookbook of like old family recipes. And I don't know if this is a family recipe or not, but uh, she... Gave me her recipe one year, and we've made it a few times on the show, and it, it I've nailed it every time. It's it's a perfect recipe. It works every time. Uh, it's amazing. You guys are going to love it. If you need a sugar cookie recipe, this is the one. This is it. Can I hand you my card at Nova? No. <laughs> no. Brittany, you're, 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 you're ruining the spirit of wasting everybody's time <laughs> by mailing the card when you could hand it to me. So that's the whole spirit. So no, no, you can't. So yes, you you do not have to send a stamp to get a card. You don't. But if you want more than one card, please send a stamp. Yes. Uh, for for the additional cards and, and include a note. I don't know if you mentioned it, but please hand write your address very neatly on the back of the card. Um, as much as people try to write neatly, there's always a handful of cards where we can't read the address. Don't include it only on the envelope. Include it on the card as well. It really helps us. It makes everything go much more smoothly. And sometimes we have to Google addresses, and sometimes we have to text people and be like, hey, what's your address say? Because we can't read it. Um, if your handwriting sucks, please have somebody help you. We want to be able to get a card to you, so please write it neatly. Uh, Terry confirming. Amazing sugar cookie, by the way. Yes, absolutely. Um, and these are ones, like, you can do the, the really good, like, the icing works really well for... Um, like icing the sugar cookies well. Let me see if I can find the picture real quick on, I think it's on my Instagram. I'm gonna scroll through here. Yes, please send uh, my Aunt Terry. <laughs> There's so many different ways to spell Terry. Terry, you're with an E and she's without an E and I had to be so careful when making the card to make sure that I did not spell it your way instead of her way. Oh, hold on, I'm almost there. Further back, it's when Blake was in school. I think it's on my Instagram. Yeah, it's further back than this. Yes, okay. Um, we got side cam still. Um, I did these one year with the icing from the recipe. I did this. Blake uh, went to a private school that allowed you to bring in homemade goods, and they had a color run on Valentine's Day. So I made uh, candy heart themed sugar cookies and like wrote the the thing on there so um i i don't do the like flooding and all that stuff but you you can do the thing with that icing it works really really well um if you have sticking sticky mailing labels would that help um i'm gonna handwrite your address but if you have a a uh like a return address label absolutely stick that on the back of the card that helps those are always legible uh where else yeah just confirming it's hard when people hand them to 
to us at the event. Trust me, you'll understand when you see the chaos firsthand. Yeah, things get lost and misplaced, and, and who knows? I would hate to lose it. Uh, yes, Terry, this is what you made the, uh, the, the dinosaur with. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're pretty we're good. Okay, so this is the box from Linda, not from the UK. It's from this Linda and Dan. Linda and Dan yes, uh, not in America. UK. Yes, correct. Correct. So we do have some hot... Yes. We do have some Hot Wheels for the Hot Wheels showdown. Uh, the Hot Wheel cars, she's included for RFS Racing Night for her Dan to race, please. Perfect. Perfect. What'd you get? I she says, I know, only one per night. That's Okay. It's okay, we got the Dodge Van and the Einstein Rod. Awesome. I will put your names on there and you will be entered to race. Erickenstein. Erickenstein. Yes. That sounds like uh, a Frankenstein. Alright, there's a card in here. Open the box. Hopefully it's not too personal. Uh, Nikki with the super chat reminding me about the picks. Yes, as soon as I'm done with this box, I'll do that because the other box is going to take us a while. Oh, this is super cute. It says life is sweet and it has candy all over it. I might, this might be one of the things I frame. Yeah, you, um, a couple of things you guys have sent us will make it into frames and on my wall. Like we're, we're painting no, the bedroom. I've noticed that lately. Yeah, we're, we're repainting the bedroom and I'm going to do lots of art on the walls. And uh, this, this might make it on the wall. So thank you, Linda. I, I really like the, the coloring and stuff. Ooh, she sent me a recipe. She says, I love your show. I only wish I could try all your desserts. I was hoping you could try this recipe on your show. I've been wanting to make it, but haven't had the chance. Maybe you can let me know if you like it. It is for a candy crunch pudding pie. Hold up. Wait a minute. This is almost your birthday pie that was your birthday pie for years. Do you remember what your birthday pie for years was? You like, you like blended up like 8 million candy bars and... And it was it. a Snickers candy bar pie it was so that good. I made for Dan for years and years and years. That was his birthday pie until he discovered he likes uh, cherry and chocolate. Uh, it's a little bit different. So this is uh, chocolate jello, um, a jello put sorry, chocolate jello jello pudding, Cool Whip, but this is uh, Heath bars instead. That sounds amazing with an Oreo pie crust. I might switch that out because I don't like uh, chocolate Oreos. And then uh, baking chocolate. Yes, I will try this. I will definitely try this. Oh, I, you, so many of you guys sent me recipes with your Christmas cards, and everything gets put me, somewhere I, so I, I don't need the card it. as well. We have a system now. Let me have the card. Okay. Make, have make that, your please. system. Thank make you. your system. I will try that because thank we you, love you. the candy bar pie, and I'm not the biggest fan of just like layering puddings and Cool Whip. I don't really like Cool Whip, but something about that pie just came together so perfectly. And I love Heath Bar even more than I love Snickers. So yes, this this will be happening. I will make that. Fantastic. I don't know. If, is Linda even still here? Oh, you know, if not, you can watch, watch, watch it. Watch it later. Replay. Thank you. Yes. Yes, Terry. Did you? Oh, you never had my candy bar pie, did you? No. This has. This a, one says Dan. Oh, this, uh, I thought it was going to be for cats. <laughs> oh, it could be. It, no, it's it just, it says Dan. Around. It could be. It could be. Oh, All right. Oh, I'm I hate the rip. I hate part. ripping, uh, <laughs> ripping paper, paper, especially Batman. Batman. All right. Let's see what's in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Smash the box to open. I like to pop when you pull boxes open impatiently. Ooh, there's a Kaido house. Nice. A 510 Kaido House. Thank you so much. This is rad. So Kaido House is like the like the upgraded Hot Wheels. I have one open and I'll show you. Oh, this is awesome. Dude, these things are rad. This is like high quality H2O. <laughs> this is a high quality like Hot Wheel 164th car. Thank you. This is this one's awesome. I will put it in my Lamborghini shop. Dan's birthday gift. Oh, Linda's here. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Yahoo. she is. This thing's oh, it's awesome. That was unexpected. Really cool. Thank you. Thank you both. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Linda. Thank you. Can I set it, like, right here so I can keep staring at you it? You can, absolutely. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so I'll take... Is that racing size, or is that no, decoration on the this, shelf? This is decoration on the shelf. Nice. Uh, it's not meant to go sliding down the track. It's meant to uh, be... I have, like, this little, like, Lamborghini, like... It looks like a showroom where I have, like, some special cars in there. I'll put that one in there. Thank you. Uh, Christine says you can buy Heath Bar bits in the grocery stores. Yes, yes, and not only that, I learned, I think it was last year, you can buy it where it's just the toffee bits, or you can buy it where it's the crunched up candy bar and it has the chocolate in it too. There's two different ways you can get it. Um, okay, so Nikki, I will get to yours. The, my first notification was for the Getting Baked Crystal post. This is Sarah's tin of uh, uh, ice cream 
as an advent calendar. It doesn't look like there's 24 of them, which disappointing. Let me know. Confirm or deny. Is there 24? So it's a tin with little ice creams in it. Oh yeah, there are 24. Cause here's a, uh, a list of all the flavors. Oh my gosh. Does this conversation require me? Are you leaving? No, I'm just... just <laughs> You're fine. I'm, I'm going to read the package first. That's amazing. There's 24 different flavors. Oh, she says the tin is deep. It must be. Okay, so your flavor for today was How Now Brown Cow. Love the name. Swiss Miss Hot Cocoa Ice Cream with Marshmallows and Chocolate Chunks. Oh, my gosh. Tomorrow you get... Did, did you look at this already? Tomorrow you get to have cotton candy ice cream, black raspberry trouble. That's amazing. From the West store... I don't know what that is, but you Midwesters have amazing things. I'm very envious of that. Okay, let me go find... No, See, sometimes I don't get... Also, when I make a post, like when it's a day where there's a post, I have a million notifications from like, this person liked it and this person commented on it and all that stuff. So things get lost. Okay, here we go. Here is... Okay, yes, I get it. I get it. Okay, okay. There is still 13 minutes left, Crystal. Yes. Okay, so there is a Lego Marvel advent calendar. With, uh, looks like Iron Man was today's. Very cool. I love Lego advent calendars. They're so awesome. Yeah, we got him a bunch for Blake, didn't we? Like, we did our advent. We did. He had one did, every year. We did advent calendars. Uh, and a Hot Wheels advent calendar. I don't think we ever did a Hot Wheels one. We always did Lego, and that's what I did for Bradley. I got him a, a Lego... City one, I think, two hmm. years ago. And then last year, they had one. It was not Lego brand, but it was all kinds of little, like, different kinds of cars and stuff. And he's really into cars and monster trucks and things. So I did that one last year. This year, I don't remember what Jason said he got. There's I know Lucy got blue, but I don't so, remember. There's so many different ones. The, the Hot Wheels advent calendar, I saw... When I was picking up Jess at the airport, I was there a little bit early. Okay, so first. right next to the airport, there was, like, a CVS, and I was inside there. And they had the advent calendar for Hot Wheels, but it was so expensive. And uh, then the, the, then I saw one online for Matchbox, and that's the one that I wanted. They have really cool Matchbox cars in the advent calendar this year. But I pass. I pass. I pass. Brady said that the Marvel advent the Mario advent calendar. Ooh, oh, fun. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Nikki said, uh, yeah, yep, that's, uh, that's Iron Man. That's Can Iron Man. Can you put that in the bottom drawer? Uh-huh. In the fridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, give me a second because I need to wipe this down just because otherwise sticky stuff's going to get all over everything in this package. Okay, yeah, we so, only have 11 minutes. Uh, Linda from the UK, are you still here? Thank you, uh, Linda Roberts, by the way. Yeah. I will definitely try that pie. Yeah? Um, all right. Yeah, because you always like the candy bar I, pie. I, I do, I am a fan. We of just that. moved on to like different flavors and stuff. I, think, I don't even know why we stopped making it. Uh, but yeah, we, we, can, we can throw it back and try it with some, some Hershey's. Uh, Hannah says, Jersey got a snack advent calendar that started today. A little bit in Griffin, but mostly a little bit. Have a toy one that starts 12 days before Christmas. We got cat ones uh, at Aldi <laughs> yeah, before, and time. they were disappointing. Oh my gosh, it I was, broke my tooth on it. It was all the same things in every day, and it was like way too hard. It was supposed to be snacks, and it was like hard snacks, and the cats weren't really not, yeah. impressed. It was not. Adele says, I love that Advents good. are coming with things like Lego and stuff now. Growing up, there was only chocolate ones, and as a parent, it I must prefer things that kids can enjoy for more than two seconds. That? Absolutely. Uh, Adele. Adele, yeah, the, do you remember? It was the, always like snowman shaped. Yes, huh? little cheap little, chocolate. Little not chocolates. even good chocolate. Um, yeah, it was uh, It was fun to do the Lego ones, because not only do you get to open it, but then they get to like put it together. And I know Quinn's a little young for that now, but... There's a lot of different Lego ones, and if she gets into Lego, those are super fun. I don't remember what your other kids had. Was one of them Lego? I don't remember. I've been following, though. I've been I've been liking your stuff. Uh, Linda Roberts says, thanks, guys, for opening my stuff live on the show. You guys are the sweetest. Thank yeah. you for sending us stuff. Yeah, thank you both. Uh, well, uh, okay, so I have the minutes. pile of, the new pile of Hot Wheel people. Actually, I'm about to start writing names on these packages of Hot Wheels before I forget. Yes, you absolutely should. There's a bunch of you that want stuff. But that. So, so thank you. Uh, she says it's for her Dan. Yes. Go Dan, go. All right. Uh, yes, okay, Linda Thompson is here. Jennifer says, my advent calendar is a puzzle this year. Do you get like 10 pieces every day and you can only put together a little bit of it every day? Or is it different little puzzles? I must know. 
Uh, Sarah says my nephew did a Lego Harry Potter one a couple uh, years ago. Yeah, there's tons. There's Lego is. City. There's Lego Harry Potter. Uh, Lego Marvel. They're like themed for the different things. Um, get them while you can while they're cheap before, well before Christmas because they go up in price. If you want last year's, they're like 50, 60 bucks. Aldi has them and they're cheap like 20, 25 bucks. So much more reasonable price. Uh, yes, Adele says my eldest has a Lego good. Harry Potter one and the middle has a Minecraft block one. I don't think we ever did Minecraft with Blake, but we, we did what, a lot. When we were into Minecraft, it had just come out. Yes. And like, so like... To where when Blake was Steve one year, I had to make him a yeah, Minecraft yeah. We made head out of, and arms out cardboard. of uh, cardboard and paint it. And everybody just thought he was a Lego guy because Minecraft wasn't Minecrafty enough for people to know what it was. And they were like, cool, Lego guy. But that was not... They probably thought he was a really crappy Lego guy. He didn't even mm -hmm. have the hands. Some people appreciated it. Uh, Sarah says her ice cream one was $35. I would totally... Pay $35 yeah, that's how much that Hot Wheels one was. Uh, Jennifer says she gets 42 pieces a day and it's a total of 1,008 pieces. Okay, so you just get a little bit of what? the puzzle every day. That that's... would drive me nuts. I need to put the edges together first, please. That's a kind... Do you get all the edges first? That's kind of a funny idea. Uh, Linda says, I found a doggo treat advent calendar. I would need to get three for my three doggos. Yeah, we just got the one for the cats to share, but nobody was imp uh, all the cats, nobody was impressed. Okay, this is from Linda from the UK. Thank you. This is at least a third or four box. Yes, yes. Much appreciated. Don't even know what's in it yet. Much appreciated. Do we open the she says spoilers, spoilers first. and close? <laughs> well, then don't spoil the spoilers. Spoilers behind this section. Okay, I can read the first part. Uh, she says, thank you for everything that you do for the fam. Whether it's entertaining or educating us, it's just making our days and nights oh, more you. brighter, fun, and... Spoilers! Ah, no spoilers! <laughs> no spoilers. Spoiler free. No spoilers. No spoilers. All right, I'll hand you the first item. All right. She says, here's a few recipes you might like. I've used two of them, but I adapted slash changed them for personal taste. Attached the proper recipe. Everyone loves my cakes. No complaints. Only when there wasn't any left. Awesome. Okay, the top one is a, a banana chocolate tea bread. I want some tea bread. I like some tea. Some tea bread? I may try that because I I have a banana bread recipe and I don't love it. I, I like it, the one that has lots of different Jimmy things. Jimi Hendrix mom's banana bread? <laughs> Bob Dylan's I'm mom. taking over the uh, this bag for sure. Oh, that's so you. That's going, with totally me to, that's going with me to the Walmart to put Hot Wheels in. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's definitely going with me. Okay, I'm going to go through this later because I'm just going to stand here and read. But yes, I will look through and I will find something on there to make on the show for sure. Next item. Oh, these ones are the best. Kitty loves these. Thank you so much for these. I don't know if it was you. It must have been you because these were the exact same ones. The, uh, Yoink. <laughs> I, I need this. <laughs> it's from Tesco. We it's, don't even well, have one of those. Thank you so much because um, I'm using it. These feather mice are Kitty's favorite. Oh, they are. These stay in the bedroom and they are. they're really kind of beat up. You must uh -huh. have sent these before because I swear we have these exact same ones. They stay in the bedroom. I'm going to put one package in my nightstand drawer to save it for when she eats all the feathers off the end of it she'll lick and lick and lick and lick and then pull the feathers out and we have to throw the feathers away and then there's just mice with no feather butts anymore so yeah these, yes, those these are, will go to kitty for sure thank you so much awesome. yes thank you so much nikki said dan have you watched the barbie movie yet t minus one week to know by i know right okay so i'm laying in the hotel room uh I, I, the guide channel comes up and then you know how it's got the bars of like on demand and it's barbie there and i'm like oh my gosh jess and i should Totally watched the Barbie movie. I click on it. It's like twenty eight ninety nine. I said, we'll wait until December when it comes to to, to like Paramount or whatever yes. it's coming. Did you see? I know we already watched it, but did you see the Mario movie is coming to Netflix on? Is it it Sunday? It was on our Paramount for the last like two months. Oh well, yeah. if you don't have Paramount Plus, oh, and Peacock, you have Netflix. Or maybe Peacock it was. Yes, because okay. I know we watched it, but yes, it will be uh, Sunday on Netflix. Will be the Mario movie. No. Way that is no perfect. way, no way. That is so amazing. No way, do me. <laughs> Wait, what? There's more pieces. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that one's great. Your head's a little big, Dan. I know. <laughs> I know. She said, ah, ah, this is great. Oh my gosh, and I give you this one too at the same time. Okay. Oh, I'll have to fix this for you because it's Velcro, but the Velcro came off of one end. Ah. I'll just sew it on there for you. You, you, you just tie it in a knot around your neck because I'll totally tie it on. You, around you cares. <laughs> oh, that's oh. amazing and I love it. Oh my gosh, you just transformed me. That's great. It's all right. I'll... <laughs> uh, 
the hell would that dance? I moves? regret like, making okay. both of those moves right there. I regret that. You absolutely should regret that. All right. Uh, and you get a light yes. up reindeer nose and headband with I, batteries included. I have had one of these before and I depleted it and I broke the nose and everything. I don't know. Did you I send us one one year too? Um, it will light up. There's a little like switch on there, and it'll it'll light up. Oh, oh there it yes. goes. I think maybe I had to hit it or something. I don't know. It lit up randomly. I'm not sure. I will learn this as well. We'll figure out how that works. Oh, maybe Dan. I, maybe put it right here. <laughs> it's minions themed banana pudding. Oh my gosh. The, okay, if you guys have not seen this before, this is a uh, UK's version of pudding, I guess. Well, I don't know. You guys call pudding different things. This is... <laughs> I don't know. This is Angel Delight, and it's like a cross between American pudding and mousse. It's like fluffier and airier. And Dan loves this stuff. I, I, Look at this, Dan. Banana, banana, I banana. I love banana. I haven't banana. seen the Minions movie. I haven't seen any of the Despicable Me movies yet, but I did go on the ride. Jess fired me because I haven't seen it yet, but then I told her I'd watch it, and then she had rehired me. So <laughs> I will make this banana pudding when... When, uh, when you watch the movie? When we watch the movie. Uh, she also sent two butterscotch ones, which is my favorite. Thank Ooh. you so much. I do like these. Crystal will whip them up for me where I'm like, I need something. Adele says she had one like that, and it lit up when you pulled on the string. Maybe okay, that maybe was that's it. it. I was oh. fidgeting with it. Okay. Yes. I think we uh, finally ran out of these. There may be one left, but yeah, Dan loves his pudding, so thank you we did. for this. All right. I got something else for you. Ooh! So there is a subreddit that is, what is this cookie cutter? Because sometimes you get cookie cutters and you have no idea what it is. Uh, okay, that one's a ghost and a coffin. Okay, so we got some, some Halloween themed and a pumpkin and a witch hat and a cat. A witch on a broom? What do you call this thing? Is that... The is, is it a witch on a broom? I think it's a witch on a broom. Is this a British thing? Is this the crown? Is that is that what's going on here? And Di says cookie cutters are my love language. <laughs> I love you. We got a skull and crossbones. We've got a ghost. That one took a minute. I think. It, yeah, ghost. You with me on that one? <laughs> and a different shaped cat. And a gingerbread man, and a broom. Do you have eye racing on your computer? Santa? They moved the setting. I. Are you able to bring it up visually so I could take a picture? A for Christmas Tom light? Oh yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know what that is. You have to start a session. A bat. To do it. <laughs> and a splat. Oh, a spider. A spider and a starry type thing. Awesome. I will definitely add these to my uh, cookie cutter collection and when i make my sugar cookies next time we've got a new selection oh someone said snowman for that one yes this one that makes a lot more sense awesome so it's a bunch of halloween christmas themed cookie cutters thank you linda yay that, that means... crown looks like a chef's hat it might be I, this this part looks more crowny to me what do you guys think i know it's hard to see it's the queen. That's what I thought. It was like a, a royalty thing. When in doubt, it's the queen. Yeah. Apparently, there are now three mini movies. Oh, so like it's Fast and the Furious. I got my work cut out for me. Adele says there's a Facebook page too. I randomly appeared. It randomly appeared on my feed one day, and someone had adult extracurricular activity theme. <laughs> a muffin? Maybe a muffin. I'm going with a British crown. It has to be British themed, right? I think so. All right, we've got about one minute left on our, uh, our our stuff in the oven. Ooh, more cat toys. The babies are gonna love these, and so will Precious. Precious will absolutely love the fuzzy balls. He loves balls and Baxter too, but especially Precious. So thank you for those. Much appreciated. That's for Dan for sure. <laughs> It says, please help, I live with a crazy person. <laughs> what are you trying to say about me? <laughs> uh, Dracula with cape open? Okay, maybe. I could see that. Uh, this says, I'm only a cat and we get along fine. As long as you remember, I'm not yours, you're all mine. <laughs> Spoken like a true cat. 
A warrior cat says, sorry I was gone. What did I miss? What are we doing right now? We are opening a package that Linda from across the pond has sent to us with stuff from the UK. Uh, very often stuff that we do not have here. Ooh, there are more cookie cutters. These ones are sealed up a little bit more. We got a mitten and a stocking. Alexa, stop. And a... Uh, A Christmas tree. Okay, that's definitely a snowman. And a reindeer and a star. Or snow, snowflake. I bet that's a snowflake. This one looks like it's a truck with a Christmas tree in the back of it. I know these are really hard to see for you guys. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, does it say? No, it just says various shape. Christmas biscuit cutters. Do you call them biscuit cutters instead of cookie cutters? I guess you would, huh? I like it. Okay, let me check. Oh, it's nice and crispy and it's bubbling and gooing. Oh, what did I set my timer for? Alexa? It was 20. How long was my last timer? There are no timers set. I know! Alexa? Set a five minute timer. You're right, you're right. Starting now. I think I did it for 30, because I always do the low end. So I it says 30 to 35. Okay, because it was 20. Thank you, Hannah confirming I set it for 30. Thanks. That's what I thought. Oh, she said there's a third magnet on the back. Where did I put the... Oh, there it is. It slipped off. <laughs> It says resting witch face. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> nice. I love it. Very, very cute. Thank you. Oh, sorry if I set off your ALEXA. Sometimes that happens. <gasps> Wait, Dan. It's a cookie mold. Ooh. It's Mario themed. Is it? Oh my gosh. There's two different Marios. Oh, hold, hold on. It's got instructions in uh, English and Chinese. Oh, this is amazing. So it's got two different Mario ones. Three different Marios. Is that baby Mario? It's got a Goomba yeah. and a star and a mushroom and a brick and uh, what are they called? Koopa Troopa. Koopa Troopa. Oh, those are so cute. I love those. These this are is gonna fun. be great. I know those are gonna be great. Those are really good. Good find. Thank you. That's really amazing. I love it. All right. I was handing you your favorite theme. Books. Sex books. I love books. Oh, this is for you. It's some dad jokes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is there a boo? No, there was no boo. Give us a dad joke. Crystal, how do you hide a vintage video game before Christmas? I don't know, Dan. How do you hide a vintage video game before Christmas? You put the cartridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I know, Brittany. Everything should have a boo, right? Thank you, everybody. Thank uh, you. This one is, find out if your cat is Pussolini or Mother Parisa. Is your cat a psychopath? <laughs> Not Pussolini. Oh, it's like questions. My cat struts around the house like Queen of Sheba. My cat seems to be operating a mob protection racket in the area. Regular fighting other cats. I think that's what's happened. I think that's what our cat's doing. Apparently Abraham Lincoln was a cat lover. Did you know that? Yeah, the tree that he cut down was to save the cat in it, not because uh, it that was, was a That was George tree. Washington. Oh. <laughs> Wrong president. <laughs> this is great. What a fun little book. I <laughs> brought you a gift. A terrifying gift. <laughs> I love it. Uh, a Million Ways to Stay on the Run. The uncut story of the international manhunt for public enemy number one, Kenny no Noy? I don't know who that is. But that sounds fun. I bet it's a uh, a British criminal. Oh, right. Ooh. Like um, like Jack the Ripper. And then... Yes. And then like... Yeah, Jack the Ripper. 
I don't know if this is for Blake or you, but you'll both have fun with uh, a thousand amazing gross facts. Oh, I have amazing gross facts. I know. You're full of them. Oh, this is like a National Geographic type. Uh, well, that's fun. Like with all the pictures. Ew. Ew. That's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Camels blowing spit bubbles, huh? Mm. And uh, bugs on sticks for eating. Well, that's uh, awesome. I'll take that one. I thought you I'll might. trade you for that. Ah, it's called Get Baked! Perfect! Sensational cakes, bakes, and desserts! Oh, I love it! Ooh, salted dark chocolate ganache. Oh, peanut brittle. My mom has some peanut brittle. She's been walking around the office trying to get everybody to eat it, and I tasted it, and it was not even good. I should make some peanut brittle. Smoky pecan cookies. Fruit, 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 fruit! Oh, that looks good. Lemon meringue pie. Oh, super cute. Yeah, it only took forever. It only took forever. Ooh, honey peach pie. That sounds good. Blueberry pancake cookies. Oh, there's some good recipes in here. Sugar, sugar, sugar. I love sugar. How'd you know? Edible co Oh. This is amazing. Thank you. This might... Uh, I haven't gotten to the bottom yet. This might be my favorite thing in here. Mostly because it's called Get Baked. <laughs> That's great. Alexa, stop. Oh, I don't want to make a book scene. Whoa, you're breaking things, Dan. Yeah. No, I had to pop it back together. Hold on. Okay, I gotta pull this out. You pull that out. Can you move over out of the way? Yeah. Oh, my glasses fogged up and now I can't see anything. All right. Not much to see here because, you know, it's got the, the topping and stuff. But here it is. Caramel apple cheesecake bars. There is no caramel yet, but it says to let it cool to room temperature. And I sent Dan to the store today and I did a little bit of research. And last time we did caramel something, I had him go get me some caramel, but I was not specific about it. And he got me caramel sauce like you put on ice cream and it was way too sweet. So this time... Um, we could not find any Sanders caramel, which is my favorite caramel. I made, uh, I tried to replicate Costco's caramel apple cupcakes while Dan was in Michigan last time. No, you were in Vegas. You were somewhere. I don't know. Dan went somewhere and I made them and I used the Sanders caramel on top and it was amazing, but we could not find that here. So we got the uh, Ghirardelli premium sauce caramel, sauce, not syrup. Um, and I think that's the right way to go. So once this is cooled to room temperature... Ew, you got the one that's all smashed and leaking, Dan. Gross. Hopefully nobody poisoned it because the lid was already off. You're trying to kill me. You're not even listening. Sorry, There's... I was talking to John Carl. The safety seal is broken, Dan. I'm going to get poisoned for sure. Um, I will squirt some of this on top. So, guys, make sure you show up tomorrow night for Dantix 2.0.1.2. Something something wait new. like it's over that was it no i well that's over that's all i can do i have to let it cool the room temperature and then this is going to be squirted on top and then tomorrow we will cut it up and taste test it it's got to go to room temperature then it's got to go in the fridge until it's cool so like tomorrow we can't do anything with it now so that that's all dan sorry sorry to disappoint it's okay afriel says thank you for the awesome interlude got my latest pair of wrist warmers done awesome happy to help Hannah confirms that that stuff is good. Yeah, I don't want it to be too sweet. Um, like, sickly sweet. And that's the stuff we got last time was. All right, Dan. <laughs> um, these both light up. Nice. I don't know if you can see them there. We're taking these to Novi to wear okay. on our neck for Christmas. Perfect. So thank you. We'll take those with us to Michigan. Okay. I have something for you. Oh, wait, we still have... Oh, we, more pudding. More pudding. More pudding. What do you call it? Do you just call this Angel Delight, or do you call it pudding? Like, to us, this is pudding, but pudding is something different to you. What do you call this when you say, like, hey, let's make some... Oh, Baxter's favorite. Those are Baxter's favorite. These get lost under the couch all the time. He will much appreciate this. You just keep getting me more and more stuff for my head. <laughs> Baxter! Nope. Topo! Can I move this? Like, this is okay to uh -huh. move? Um, excuse the mess. Remember, our house is under uh, remodel organization? Hey, Topo! 
Oh, oh, look. The twins. <laughs> they both woke up they're, simultaneously. They're little raptors. <laughs> Did you go find it, Max? Check it out. Now you'll never lose me. <laughs> I love it. That's great. These actually feel really nice. So I got one of those, and I, I, I want to know what happens with this light-up one here. Oh, I love it. These are super cute. Uh, Linda says both. Okay, so you, you call it pudding and Look how festive delight. this one was. Look at my head. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Perfect. I know on. what you're wearing, Novi. <laughs> I'm keeping this one on. We'll have to okay. wear my hair. Can you throw... Oh, yeah. Can you throw these away? Because I don't want the cats to eat the twisted Oh, Topa's on his way for you. He's like, yes. what happened here? That's all. Hi, Mama Cat. She's out, too. Okay, you're going you're gonna to hit the camera. What's that? I told Topo he was going to hit the camera. Okay. Some of this stuff was stuck to the side here. Crystal, next item. Dan. What? Oh, is that for me? Do you remember our friend Anna used to make hats and she made one of these for one of her kids? No, my, <laughs> my eyes closed still. Tell, tell, my eyes are closed, so tell me when I can. Uh... No, it goes like this. <laughs> you can open it now. Oh my gosh, it's yes! It's like a, a helmet and <laughs> it has a mohawk. Topo's like, can I eat it? <laughs> oh, that's great. Dang, I like this. <laughs> it gives your face warm too. It does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this one's a big heavy one. Okay, careful because it has your address on it. <laughs> oh. The squirty flavor things. The boys pretty much do not drink water without some sort of flavor added to it. So yes. these always, always get used. Mm -hmm. uh, lemon and lime, orange, summer fruits, oh, lots of summer fruits. What did you just yoink? The balls. Hacky sacks. The hacky sacks. And uh, the, hacky the one that I think is my favorite is the apple and black currant. Oh, and passion fruit mango. Uh. I don't know if you've sent us passion fruit mango before. These ones are fun. I think that's a new one. Thank you. Get a topo. He's like, no. <laughs> Look, a little British ambulance and British red bus. Oh, no way. Oh, these are awesome. <laughs> How fun. I haven't seen a wooden toy in forever. Oh, it's a red by fruity. <laughs> that's, all, <laughs> that's always my things. Those yo-yos light up. They when you, do. When you do that. Yes. Can oh, you I no yo or yo? Nope. Those neither? Are, I'm going to bust something with that. You can so neither yo nor yo? I will not. <laughs> Let's see if I can. And if they will light up or if we have to do something to Oh, uh, you probably have to pull the tabs out. I don't see any tabs. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to stand to the side while you break stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I can neither yo nor yo either. Yeah, let me. Let me, let me help you with that. I had a light-up one when I was a kid that I got from, like, Good Behavior at school, and I got the golden tickets, and then I got picked, and I was able to get one, and it was great. We had Yo-Yo Day like the Simpsons at our school. And last week of since Dan and Crystal spoil time. Love it. It is. I know. Uh, I like a big child. This is like me on Christmas. F. Ant says that that hat's so that you and I can have matching uh, mohawks. Ooh, yeah. There's Here's the thing. When I put a hat on... This happens to my bangs, and it's not a good look. What you got? Oh, you're still yo-yoing? Oh, I made it come up! Good job. It came up to here. That might be the first time I ever did that. Good job. Oh, Dan, you got a Zelda key. I know, hi, it goes with my little Zelda guy I have over there. And your sword next to your bed. Oh, look at you, fancy pants, mister. I can't yo-yo. I can't. It's been a little bit. Clearly you can. It's been, it's been a little bit. Dan. Yeah? These are magnetic bookmarks, and they're cats. You have no need for these. Can they all just go on the fridge? Probably. Haha, <laughs> they sure can. 
I'm trying to figure out, like, do they open up or they just go, like, one on each side? No, they open. Do they? They, they open up. Ah, they open up so they pinch the page. I open Oh, mine. I love that. You can't have all of these. You know how many books I'm reading? At more any than, given time? More than me. <laughs> <laughs> Always. These will definitely get a lot of use. Thank you. Good, good gift. I have one more Oh, thing. wait. There were scented markers in here, too, Dan. Oh, more scented markers? I nice. I love scented markers. When I was a kid, my parents... Oh, I'm going to break this. My parents wouldn't buy them for me, and I was able to trade for one at school. And I had one scented marker as a child. <laughs> and it was like black licorice. It was light blue. It wasn't I don't even remember. good. It was like some sort of berry. Oh, this was, oh, we'll show Chris in a second. That was always, I always thought that was fun. Oh, it doesn't say what scent it is. I might have found my favorite thing. Oh, jeez. You can't see it. Okay. You can't see it. Oh, scented markers, all fun. There's a couple little cool Christmas activities. Maybe I'll have to color them in. Oh, they're Shrinky Dinks. Are they the Shrinky Dinks? Oh, nice. Yes. Shrinky Dinks are fun. You, like, color them in and then you put them in the oven. And then I they shrink and dink. <laughs> they shrink and but dink. But I'll trade you this. Oh, that's okay. For this thing here, which is a cool magnet set from Super Mario. Oh, how fun. From, this looks more like the newer Super Mario. I love it. And fridge poetry. Yes, I'm going to write fridge you poetry. all kinds of poems. My stuff was oh. always so raunchy. <laughs> yeah, fridge poetry. I just see. Oh, it's bad words. Flash, fanny, ass. <laughs> Some of these I can't read. Oh my gosh, it's definitely UK talk. It's definitely UK talk. <laughs> Magnet bad words for the fridge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you're oh going to get gosh. messages every morning, Dan. I go in the fridge every oh. morning and make a fruit smoothie before Dan even gets out of bed. Oh, it's only bad words. Some of these words I don't even know what they you mean. You slob dog. I don't know what chuff. Oh, that's, chuff? that's canceled. <laughs> um, oh, this is great. We that means a... something different. That means cigarette. Okay, right, right, right. <laughs> I don't know what a shufty is. is Shush! That a... How bad is that word? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's on Urban Dictionary, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I'm sure, I'm sure it's on Urban Dictionary. Uh, naked, oh my god. <laughs> what? The hard P word? <laughs> Muff? That was my grandma's name. Dang, she was hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, she was blown out by the time I got to her. Oh, this is great. Gormless? I don't know what no, that means. No, you can't be saying this stuff. <laughs> I can if I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> if you claim ignorance. Just so you know, wine with a G is still wine. <laughs> they say it differently. <laughs> um, I don't think it has that word, F Vamp. <laughs> I didn't see that one, but there were lots of other ones. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun with oh, this. Oh, it come. Oh wow, there's there's a hard C in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, there's a. <laughs> I have one more thing for you, but you have to close your eyes. Okay. This is <laughs> that's gonna be fun. This is the I'm really excited for. Look, I'm not big on fridge magnets. This... Pretty much everything on the fridge is is Dan's doing. I like a clean that's, fridge. That's gonna be fun. These are adorable, and these are yeah, definitely going, going on the fridge. On Oh, okay. what's the hard P word? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. All right, close your eyes. Okay, you can close your eyes. Don't open your eyes yet. Just hold that. But I have a grand finale for you here. Hurry, I hate having my eyes closed. All right, Crystal, go ahead. Open your eyes. <laughs> I'm almost done with the last batch of crunchy oh, bars. If you didn't have the sugar, <laughs> now you do. I've, like been, a, I've been eating thank them you so um, much. at least once a week. Okay, the, at least twice a week I have crunchy bars box. at work. Oh, the orange ones. I, I didn't like the orange ones, and then I fell in love with the yeah, they, orange ones. Yeah, they sat till the last, and then you tore and through And then them. I tore through them, and then the second oh. batch you sent me, I was all over them because I, I for some reason, I, I, I never had orange and chocolate before. And I love Apparently it. Apparently, it's a combination people love. This is the last. Oh my gosh! Look of at the them. last look, batch. Here. They're like white and tired. Oh, they, they are. I, a little I stopped eating them. I had to put them in the fridge because it got to be summertime. Now they can stay out for a while, yeah. but they turned white from being in the fridge and out, and and also being here for a few months. Oh, I see um, new stuff in here. But this is the the just plain chocolate. This was the last of the last. Everything else got eaten. I think everything else was gone. This was the last of the last. So perfect timing. Yeah. We've got 
Cadbury, um, in case you guys have not been here for an opening of a box uh, from Linda before, Linda loves me so much, she sends me all kinds of Cadbury chocolate, and I guess Dan and Blake can eat it too if they we want. Don't, we don't get um, this style here. Yeah, we. you can find a couple of Cadbury flavors, but they get way more variety, and Cadbury chocolate is so much better than like Hershey's or anything else, just the way it melts in your mouth, it's so amazing. Uh, so she finds the amazing flavors and sends them to us, and I will be forever indebted to her for it. Uh, got enough candy there? No. Never enough. Dan, you're wasting your headband flashes. I did. All right, so we've got Cadbury Orange. One of my personal favorites. The one with the caramel inside each square. Yes, Terry, real Cadbury. And I'm sorry you're not here for it this time. Okay, this one is my absolute favorite with the crunchy... Oh, oh Linda. Linda with the crunchy bits. I love this one so much. So much. I will open one and be like, I'm just going to have one square. And then I go back and I have another and another and another. And then I have to hide them from myself because I just can't. Uh, Warrior Cat says, Arrow Bars are also the best UK chocolate. We've had those. I don't remember if she sent them or we've had the Arrow Bars. Not the biggest fan. That's the one that it's like, it's like puffed up with like the like airy kind of stuff in it. Yeah. Ooh, is that what's right? what's this one? That one's mine with the caramel inside. You could have the orange. Crunchy bits are also mine. Oh, Those are crystal stickers. You're not gonna eat these because you don't like white chocolate and I see there are two of them. I have not had Cadbury white chocolate. Well, you know what? It looks like you're gonna right now. Right now. Mm -mm -mm. This is what Crystal does after dinner. She eats dinner and then she eats- Look, who wants to taste their dinner forever after you eat it? No, you need to have like just, these are perfect because look, let me show you. In case you don't know, the reason these are so perfect is they're in little squares. So it's the perfect, it's like an after dinner mint. You're just like, hmm, one little square. Don't it mind looks if like I do. soap. It tastes amazing. I'm a mouth water. <laughs> uh, what are the crunchy bits made of? It's uh, like, it's like aerated. So out here, I see them called sea foam candy a lot, especially on like the East Coast. Sea foam candy? Um, we made it on the show actually one time, but it's not the same. It's close, but not it. Um, there's also, do we still have, you bought me one. Violet crumble. Not the same. Same idea. Look at the rip off. Look, yes. at, it, look at it. Look at it. I got that for you like at the store. Uh, yes, and you were so excited, and I think you paid like $4 for it or something. For it. You paid way too much money. I got these once at um, at World Market. Whoa. Yes, thank you, Shannon. It's also called Honeycomb Candy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was called. Yeah, it goes by a few different names. So I got this at World Market once, and I was like, yeah, that's not it. It's it's not the same. It's it's good, um, but it's got this texture, and look, they're, they're trying to market it. It's the way it shatters that matters. The way that it, it like crumbles and cracks and, oh. I'll show you. Yes, I am in Cadbury heaven. We don't get all this. Uh, we we have a, a specialty candy store out here called Rocket Fizz. And after the first time Linda sent us the Cadbury Crunchies, I brought some to my mom and she tasted them. She was like, oh my God, that's amazing. She went to the candy store. She spent $80 buying crunchy bars and brought them all home and opened them and was like, these are white inside. Every single one of them was expired. These ones still have a, another like six months. We're good. We're good. We'll, we'll eat them in six months for sure. No, it's not like puff, puffed rice. I'll show you. I only have one little square of chocolate at work today so I can eat more candy. So it just looks like a regular, like a Snickers or whatever Milky Way. Listen. Nope, I don't think you heard it. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's like a dense styrofoam. Oh, oh, oh. But not in a bad way. If that, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's got such a unique flavor. So it's made with, um, when we make it ourselves. So I made it one time and it was all right, but I didn't nail it. It's like corn syrup, but it's golden syrup, which I had to order online because I couldn't <clears throat> find it in person. 
and it's got a different flavor and God, these are my favorite. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Um, it looks like a Butterfinger, but it's not, no, no, it's not. A Butterfinger is more like wafery flaky. This is more like foam. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's unlike anything else. It's hard to explain. This one is for you, Dan, because you love this one with the little, uh, jelly pop and candy in it. I, it is. You thank like you. that one. So those two are yours. Uh, this one I love. Oh, thank oh, you. That one was fun. And did this you see one's the Oreo good. one? Because I'm not the biggest Oreo fan, but the Oreo one. Dan? Yeah. Two of them. They're, dude, these things are triple thick, and they're, they're I mean, look at this thing. Massive. These ones yeah, were great. Look, look at the size of my head. Like, these are bigger. And the plain chocolate, bigger than my it head. It melts in your mouth. This is, thank you. So Linda, good. thank you so much. This one is... White chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate, I believe. What? I think that's what it is. What? I'm like flashing my stuff. What? This Harry, one is my... Harry, what? <laughs> this one is one of my other favorites, too. So you nailed it. You got like all the favorite is flavors. Is Terry still here? She is, yes. Terry. Yes, Terry. It's like foam insulation, but tasty. I don't know that... That's the best way to explain it, but like, it sounds so stupid. It Who almost feels like foam insulation. It almost feels like freeze dry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. got that kind of texture. Absolutely, oh, it does. Butterfinger with air in it. <laughs> But not butterfingery, because the taste is unlike anything else. True, and I unfortunately I don't like it. It tastes like burnt to me. Even when you made them, even I, when you I get that when you made them, yeah, and and it, it doesn't remind me of whatever thing that makes me happy. So like, you know, no, 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 no. Um, it doesn't be like you know how like you get a flavor and you're like, oh, I like this because I like that, and you start right. liking vinegary things when you grow up. I just to me, it's just burnt. And like that, it makes me feel I like can see stay that, away. But yeah, oh, I just I don't know. I love it. I just I love it. It's so good. Uh, which is better, chocolate or fruit candy? Chocolate, always chocolate. Although, first of all, thank you so much, Linda. You are amazing. All you the always Lindas. send such it's great Linda packages. Lindas. <laughs> it is. Uh, we're gonna go see the Linda Lindas in we September are, with but Green Day. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be as good as this. It's not gonna have chocolate. It's not gonna be as, as good um, as this. Yeah, if you guys have, can find Crunchy Bars. Uh, in America, they're a little harder to find. You're not going to find it at, like, the Walmart or the Target or, like, the regular store where you go get a Snickers. Yeah, look for you the have, Rocket Fizz. You have to go to a Rocket Fizz or, um, like, we went to Santa Barbara at once with uh, Nanda, and there was just a candy store. So look for a little, like, specialty candy store yeah. where they're going to have imported candy. And sugar That's drinks. where you can find a, a Crunchy Bar. Yeah, and sugar drinks. Uh, Dan's butt's going to grow. I know, right? Cakes and cakes. It's almost triple <laughs> How do you think air. I've gained 20 pounds since I started doing this show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Linda says, isn't it also called sponge candy? It might be. I don't know. Out here, like, it's not really a thing out here. But when I, I think I was talking to Jason and Sandy about it. She's like, oh, yeah, that's seafoam candy. Apparently, like, Midwest and East Coast, y'all have it more prevalently. And it's called seafoam candy. Uh, Sarah says, my world market has it. Do, do they, do they have the crunchy ones? Because the violet, cr violet crumble is not it. It doesn't have the same flavor. It's a little bit off. Um, but if, yeah, if you can find a crunchy bar, try it. We have an international market called K Market. Check there. Absolutely. If you find it, try it. It's worth trying. It, because it's so different than any other candy you'll find, you have to try it at least once. Oh, uh, Terry, we were watching, was it yesterday? Yeah, Dan got home yesterday and we were watching... Uh, the wrestling yesterday with, uh, uh, Philly. with, with Philly, Phil, with Philly, Phil, Philly, Phil, 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 <laughs> it hurts my feelings. Oh, yes. I had my hand on it, and I didn't even... We can read the spoilers now. I love how you did this, by the way. She wrote this, and then and then wrote spoilers, and paper clipped it so we wouldn't dumbly open it and That's spoil fantastic. ourselves. Thanks for doing You're that. You're brilliant. Brilliant. And there's a few Christmas novelties. The nose works this time. Okay, that was okay, the nose. So maybe okay, yours so you were the nose. Didn't work it, ever before? It made it to my prop <laughs> box, because I have a prop Oh, I never saw prop that. Box. Oh, shoot. Um, it's pretty much Christmas in a box. She says a selection of books for everyone, some baking items, some magnets. One of them is definitely Kamiko's, and the other is Mooch's Attitude. Yes, I know which is which. Absolutely. <laughs> for sure. Uh, there's a knitted hat for Sir Dan. Ask Doris or Hannah if they can crochet the rest of the suit of armor <laughs> to go with your hat. <laughs> uh, Dan, I was... No, no, not in my ear. 
I was able to find a Zelda sword for Mini Warrior Dan. Yes, he is still on the shelf. Oh, he's over right there. there on the shelf. That's why I said, like, I'll get to put him with my guy. This is my uh, guy. The usuals are at the bottom of the box. I hope there's enough Cadbury. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, they don't make the smaller bars of crunchies anymore. I hope these last okay. Absolutely. Definitely for sure. Like I said, I just opened the last 10 pack. Um, and they're in my desk at work. Because when they're here, I forget to eat. I don't really eat a lot of candy at home. At work, I'll snack on candy. Like, every day I allow myself one piece of candy. Whatever it is, I have all kinds of different candies. And I, I just opened the last Crunchy Bar pack and put it in my drawer. Uh, there's also some novelties scattered in the box. And yes, the Barbie bag is for Dan. Thanks. With love, Linda. I used to get these taken away at parties. <laughs> I can see why. Oh, lots of fun glasses. Oh. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Uh, Linda says they have them on Amazon. Yes, but be careful because they may be uh, expired or something. I don't know. They might be too expensive. I have glasses. I can't wear glasses. Oh, careful. Am I festive now, Dan? Yeah. I like <laughs> Am I festive yeah, enough for you? Green is good because you're red. Right, right. Oh, that's fun. There's the Christmas trees. There's... Snowmen. I no longer remember which ones I had on my nose or my mouth. Ew, that's disgusting. Uh, there's reindeer and Christmas tree. Oh, these are fun. Oh, these are a little smashed. There's reindeer antlers for my eyeballs. My eyeballs have antlers. No, I will not put that in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a bite of your pizza. I'm not. Saved it. I'm not putting the thing that you like were slobbering I all over it. into my mouth. <laughs> There's a Santa hat one. There's 90 people here watching you do this. <laughs> These are fun. I've never seen such fun. She always sends fun glasses. Oh, uh -huh, I have a whole collection of them right there. Yeah, we're gonna have to steal another mm. basket from Blake to put all the glasses in. You're cute. Thanks, Dan. You sure before it's gone? Absolutely not. I am not a fan of those things in the first place, much less when they've been in your nose holes. Hang on, this one has this one has not been weeded out between the letters. I've got to remove some bits. There you go. <laughs> Linda, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Was there another part to our theme or no? We're just hanging out now. Uh, after it cools down, I have to put just drizzle some caramel on gotcha. it, but that's it. Gotcha, that's gotcha. It. Okay, did you get through everything? Because you put one thing away. Uh, yeah, I right? think that's it. I think we've seen everything. I think that's it. Thank you. Awesome. Yay. I'm clapping like the people at the rides at. <laughs> yes, at Universal, they clapped every time a ride finished. They'd be cool, standing there clapping. It was really weird. Congratulations! <laughs> you survived! Thanks for not throwing up! I know. Oh my gosh. That was lots of fun. That I'm was excited. Lots of fun. I'm, that was. I'm most excited for the candy and I think this uh, is my favorite box. And my dirty magnets. This this is uh <laughs> this I'm, is amazing. I'm excited for the fridge poetry too. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be fun. Uh, Christine says, "Wow, she sent so much good RFS citizens." No, we, we asked her to dial it back. Yeah, I, I feel bad. Like, Thank please you. do not feel obligated Thank any you. of you guys to send us anything, yeah. but it is much appreciated. It's fun. It it's, it's, I mean, you it saw, is, we, we just had lots is, of fun with it. It is fun. Oh, you did forget. The, oh, yes. You, it looked like you set it aside because you I wanted did. it to be a finale. I did. Well, what Arnold do? <laughs> um, I think it's maybe a story of Arnold and his goats. Do it, do it now. <laughs> and his goats. Do it now. <laughs> You can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pocket. <laughs> also, none. do not run or walk with your hands in your pockets. Uh, did, has anybody watched the Squid Games reality show? Not the TV show, oh. like, dubbed over from Korea, but the reality show. Because we watched the first episode, and all I could say was, get your hands out of your pockets. Everybody was running, and they just had their hands in their pockets. You know what happens when you do that? You fall on your face like Blake did as a child, and then you get scabs all over your face. I got served up. A TikTok about that. And about the, what? And the guy's like, why are you running with your hands in your pocket? He's like, when we were running and stopping, we were stopping for 60, 70 minutes. It took six hours for that to play out. They didn't tell you, um, they didn't show us Seriously? time. Yeah, he said, sometimes we'd be there for 45 minutes. <laughs> so why were their hands in their pockets? Again. 
I don't know. Comfortability. You're not moving. My hands are in my pockets. I can be my hands in my pocket. Right. You can like. I can stop. Let him hang. Yeah. Because it wasn't like they made it out over five minutes of stop and go. Right. It was like he said over hours. That's so maybe that's why. But um, we so have to hurry and watch the newest episode because people are talking about. We were hesitant to watch it. Like we watched Squid Games. We love Squid Games. Really good show. If you guys haven't seen it, what is it? Netflix. It's Squid Games Netflix. Um, really good show. Well done. Um, it's it's like a. a game you'll have to watch i don't know how to describe it um but this is like an american play on it as a game show i guess it worked out it works and well. you kept going to it and being like oh we're gonna hate this huh we're gonna hate this and then we put it on and we're like yeah it's not bad but it was pretty late at night and we watched i think we watched the first episode which carried over into the second one so we watched a little bit of the second one and it was interesting i think I'll, I'll, i'm curious to go back i think to we'll, it. we'll continue it it, it was interesting uh, Linda says your birthday card. I sent it separate. Oh, oh yes, okay. we did get that too. No, because okay, I thought for some reason I thought that was the Christmas card. Yes, we stopped uh, before Dan left on Monday. He went and got uh, the stuff from the PO box. Is it the is it the blue card? Because I have your. It's addressed just to you, so I would imagine. So okay, what's going on here? There was other people who have already started sending Christmas cards, and I think I read got those it. out loud. Okay. All of them should be asleep because it's like two. <laughs> Uh, April says murder red light green light. Yeah, pretty much that sums it up. It, it at was, least for the first but challenge. apparently it was over a lot of hours, and I don't. Re they didn't like ex to show that on. Oh, uh, uh, Hannah says, "Well, hope you like popcorn." Uh, Dan loves popcorn. I absolutely. I snack on it here and there. I don't like the feeling of it in my I teeth. I absolutely but love popcorn. I have a little popcorn. popcorn popper. I don't put nothing on it. I just pop. He does, and I always try to get him to like. Why don't you put this? Why don't you put that? And he's like, nope. I just like it plain. No, just no. Um, my last week at Adventures says, I set some new goals for my YouTube next year. You guys are the inspiration. Oh, Aww. fantastic. Well, thanks. I hope you meet your goals. Yeah, starting on the first. Uh, Baxter is over here, by the way, totally playing with the, the spirally plastic thing. He absolutely loves those things. So thank you. You nailed it with the, the cat toys. Let me see. My birthday month. Well, yeah, I know it's December now, but my birthday month. Don't end. <laughs> Happy birthday, RFS Dan. Oh, I like your, like, you know how everybody's got, like, the fat writing? Like, the fat letters. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. I did. Oh my gosh. I went to a hockey game. We have Mexican food where I put the hat on my head like everybody else. And then did. they just left and left him with a giant hat on his head. And I know where to put it. I, I, yeah, right? Uh, thank you for all you do. Oh, thanks. To entertain us fans. Oh, Love Dan and Linda. Pups Berkeley. Coley? C-O-L-E-Y. Is that right? And Junior. Oh, Coley, I like that's a name. That's cute. And then what did you do here? Did you cut out little things for me here? Pets are worth saving. Oh, all, all of our, all of our cats are uh, rescue cats. Oh, I'm gonna go take. They almost key. look like stamps. They're like little like lithio thingies. I learned to stick stuff to my head. It's easy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I thought this one was. The, the Christmas card. I was like, oh, you guys are just early on the Christmas card exchange. A uh, witch! You can send in stuff. Linda, here's that. proof that Kitty loves these little mice. Uh, this one is the last one left. It's got some feathers. Is it the last one left? And it is ripped open. Were... <laughs> its guts are coming out. I didn't realize she had ripped this one. I might have to sew it up for her. But uh, I brought that one in. Oh, this feather's broken and about to fall off too. I brought that one in and she instantly started just mashing her face up against it and she's super happy with it. All right, Linda, you're welcome to go to bed. I will I will refrain from from providing any more joy for your stuff without you watching. <laughs> so thank thank you. Thank you. And other Linda, thank you so much for all the stuff as well. Um the cat says you can see already took off with 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 the cat toys and stuff like that. So I pre They're I definitely I, happy with it. I those. appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Crystal the box of stuff. <laughs> let's build yeah, a candy. So let's build a candy fort after the after this. And just hide in it? We should we'll just melt it all down and we can like forge a big candy brick. No. Candy fort? You're not allowed to touch a candy igloo. You can have glasses. You're not allowed to you know, wait, you can have those. I don't yeah, want, I, have I don't my, want Oreo and Orange. I have my stack of riches. These here. ones are mine. <laughs> and yes, we'll We'll share with Blake. <laughs> Topo was staring at a shadow person or something in the corner. Oh, yeah. yeah sounds about on brand for him. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else? I think we read most of this stuff. Yes. Oh, Miles took a bitch. You're maybe rescuing a second kitty next weekend. Post pics in the RFS Cats group if you do. 
All right, Dan, it is nine o'clock. What? I know, right? Um, thank you again, everybody, yeah, for the everything. Yay. Much appreciated. Uh, if you like the ride, yay! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you yes. so much for hanging out. Um, uh, remember, show up tomorrow night, okay. 6 p.m. Pacific. Right. Um, to see what we're doing with Dantix. It's, uh, it's yes. something new and fun. Yes. Um, and, yes, the last hour did go so quickly. Um, and to see how the caramel apple cheesecake bars turned out. I'm really excited to try those. I really hope they turn out good. I'm going to be so sad if they're not. I think it's going to be great. But I've been wanting to, show, to make it for like three months. Show up to the show. We'll try it. It'll be a lot of fun. And then, yes. Yes. And come help us test out some new features. That's, we really need you the to help us. The scoring will be correct this time. The scoring <laughs> is correct. And it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, did you read the dog's name wrong? Did you, oh, sorry. Chloe, Dan. Not what? C-O-L-E-Y. C-L-O-E-Y. What, Chloe. Did I, what did I say it was? You said Coley. C O L E Y, like you even spelled it. And Can we change the dog's you know, name to Coley? That's how you know Dan is dyslexic, because he did not even realize as he said it and spelled it that he was mixing up letters. I'm it's only Chloe. like slightly dyslexic. It's not all the time, but it happens <laughs> enough slightly. that like I'll like I gotta write the number down. I do. I do. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, thank you. There's still 80 people here. If you guys haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button on the way out. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for those of you who are members, go check out the new members yes. vlog that is up there. Yes. Thank you guys so much for supporting yes. us, um, either as a member with super chats or even just being here. It really does help out. And hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Cause send us a card. Algorithmy things. Yes, please send a Christmas card, and we will in return send you my Aunt Terry's sugar cookie recipe. Um, if you don't want a sugar cookie recipe and you have not yet gotten the chocolate chip cookie recipe or the pumpkin roll recipe... Let us know and we'll send that instead. Or if you want those in addition to the sugar cookie recipe, just send an additional stamp. You don't have to send a stamp in the first place. But if you want more than one card, send a stamp and let us know which one you would like. I think that's all I've got. Have a good night. We love you. My voice <laughs> is gone. Yeah, you were talking for a long time. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys, for uh, making it a fun night and hanging out with us for so long. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye, guys.